All right, it's time again, isn't it? Yes, it is. All praises, day. all praises, Shalom, Shalom, family. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, Baraka Thai, Hallelujah. Yah. To the immediate right of me, I got my brother, my elder. I'm Brother Ariel Al Ben Israel. Y'all know I'm Yaki. Look, we well today we got a uh, very interesting topic to go over. So before we even get to the topic title, <clears throat> uh, all of that, I want to take y'all to a scripture real fast. We're gonna go to Proverbs 18:13. For those that's uh, been in the scripture know exactly what I'm talking about here, but we're going to say it anyway before we even talk about the title mm -hmm. of this lesson. Come on, you bro. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 13. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. So when we go on into this lesson, listen to the whole lesson before y'all start hitting up the comment board. Because y'all do it all the time. Once it's, it's a very uh, touchy topic, y'all don't even get an hour in and y'all hitting up the comment board. You know what I'm saying? Showing y'all true character. So before y'all start commenting or or making y'all own subliminal story about what we talking about here, bringing forth these scriptures, hear the whole matter first. Because this topic we're going over, again, is a very touchy topic. Don't nobody want to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it because we need to address it. Because this problem is very, very uh, predominant amongst the Israelite community. So, <clears throat> he that heareth a matter and answer it, before he even heard it, hey, to him it's folly and a shame. So the topic we're going over is a wise woman buildeth her house. A wise woman <clears throat> buildeth her house. And the reason why we're going over this topic because it's been a lot of women tearing it down. And I understand the men have a huge and major part to play, so on and so forth. But today we're not talking about the man. Today we're talking about you, she bro. That's who we talking about. I talked about the man a couple weeks ago. Today we talking about the woman because we walk around and women walk around like women have no fault in, in nothing. Like y'all don't have no fault in anything and everything just go back on the Hebrew man. And that's not true. And we finna read and show that. So when we get in these scriptures, if it don't apply to you, don't get in your feelings. Because if right. you get in your feelings, that means it apply to you. Mm -hmm. Why would I get mad at somebody talking about a faggot <clears throat> if I'm not a faggot? It don't apply to me. So when we go through these scriptures and we talk about these foolish women, if, if these things don't fit you and your characteristics or your agenda, then it don't apply to you. Just pass it on to the next. So, uh, hey, all praises to Yahweh Hashem, on Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, Barak Let's get some understanding on this lesson. And if this do apply to you, may the Most High be with you, and may He grind, uh, may He find you understanding and wisdom for you to keep it pushing and repent from your ways and get to it. We got a kingdom to worry about here. Got anything to say, Elder, before we get started? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, just take it all in, you know. Hear, hear the whole matter. And uh, don't don't judge just based on a few things. You know, I'm with my rib, I'm 25 years in, and I'm very satisfied. You know, the husband of one wife. You know, I'm not trying to be a bishop or anything, but, uh, you know, women can do that. There's good women out there, you know. And it, But it's foolish women, too. They're yeah. subjected to all kind of folly. And it's always getting pushed off on a man when something goes southward or south down south or the relationship get ruined when it actually was the woman. Now, I'm not saying we taking away from the man and his responsibility, but like, look, you women got to get in check too, flat out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to pass up under the rod just like we got to pass up under the rod. And y'all got to holler at our father just like we got to holler at our That's father. Right. So let's talk about it. Uh, We're going to start this out in Proverbs 14, verse 1. When the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1, I'm on there. Says, Every wise woman buildeth her house. What did it say? Every wise woman buildeth her house. So, every wise woman, wise woman, wise in Hebrew is kachma. It's a woman that have wisdom, a woman that have understanding, a skillful woman. She know her role, she know her position. And she know what she's here for. It says every wise woman do what? Buildeth her house. Buildeth her house. Meaning she's building something to dwell in. Mm -hmm. Something for her family to dwell in. An establishment. But think, we think in spiritual too. So we're going to get into the Hebrew and all of that. But people what it said. Every wise woman buildeth her house. Come on. But the foolish 
plucketh it down with her hands. You hear that? But the foolish woman plucketh it down with her own hands. With her own hands. Not by the hands of nobody else, but by the hands of her. So this the woman we finna talk about. Now, if you not this woman that's tearing down her house with her own hands, this don't apply to you. But if you is, you need really, really, really need to have her ear and listen up. So let's look at this in Hebrew real quick, and then we're going to go on and get into this lesson. Let's get her done. All right. So it says, <clears throat> Proverbs 14, verse 1. It says, every wise woman. Let's look at this word, wise. Strong's age, 2454. Chokhmoth. Chokhmoth. All right, it's Chokhmoth. Just below that. Chachmoth. Chachmoth. I don't know about all this spitting and stuff. Right, yeah. Chachmoth and Hothmoth. <laughs> it's Kakamai, wisdom. All right. It says, wisdom. It's a feminine noun. Feminine noun. Wisdom. Every wise. It says, wisdom. Wisdom. Let's look up the root word, which is Hebrew H2451. Kakamai, wisdom. Skill. It says, shrewdness. Wisdom. Let's go down to the strongs. It says, a good sense, a good sense, meaning all your senses is good, a weighed right, skillful, wisely to have wit, mm. meaning you know what you're doing, you know your role, you know who you are as a woman, and you know where you're going. It says, once a woman knows her role, she buildeth her house. But if, she, if she's not seeking to know her role, then she tear it down with her own hands. Now... Now, a woman being foolish and a woman being wise is not like how she choose her favorite lingerie. You know, I choose to put on this lingerie today or choosing be between vanilla and chocolate. That's not how a woman be foolish or be with or be wise. A woman being foolish is because she chooses not to get in tune with her spirit. She chooses not to follow scripture. She chooses not to abide by, by, about, by what the most high say. Mm -hmm. And this is what I've been noticing through all the things I've been going through. Women don't have a problem with scripture until the scripture goes against their agenda. Mm -hmm. Then that's when the foolishness come out. Showing you that being foolish and being wise is literally a choice. When it comes to this woman either building her house or tearing it down. So uh, let's get into it. Let's read Proverbs 14, 1 again, and then we're going to go and get, to, get into the lesson. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, <clears throat> verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hand. Mm. He that walketh in his uprightness feareth the most high. Mm -hmm. But he that is perverse in his ways despises it. You hear him. that? So if you perverse in your ways and you got your own personal agenda and you just want to do what you want to do mm -hmm. and you ain't trying to do your role, you're trying to play everybody else's role, it says that you're going to do what you want to do and you're going to despise the word of the most high. Meaning if the man do come and be like, look, woman, you off here, here, and here, you ain't going to be hearing that. It's, it comes to the point where you have to put your emotions down and pick the scripture up. Mm -hmm. But what this foolish woman does, she pick her emotions above of the scripture which is totally off because emotions always lead to unjust judgment mm. it all is always unbalanced now check out this word it says every wise woman buildeth her house let's look at the word house this word house is hebrew concordance Strong's h1004 bayeth 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 all right let's look it up it says house it says house, dwelling, habitation, shelter, a bold, human bodies. What they say? Human bodies. Human bodies. House. It says containing a family, a household, a mm. family, the temple, inwards. What they say? That says inwards. Inwards. Household affairs. Check this out. It says a house. It says a family. It says great as the wood contain hangings, home, born, house. Insides, inward, palace, place, prison, steward. It says tablet, temple, web, within. Mm. So it says a wise woman builds herself first. She builds herself. Then she can actually work on this physical house, this physical family. So if this woman ain't built herself up first and was established in the most high, then anything she come in contact with is obviously going to be destroyed. So a wise woman builds her house. 
but a foolish woman tear it down. So she got to build her temple before she even try to build a brick and mortar mm -hmm. and build a family. Huh? How you going? How, how can you be accepted? How can a man find you if you haven't even found yourself? Mm. And that's what we're going to talk about here. So let's get to it. So we, uh, we can stop there right there. Let's go ahead and go to it because we got to talk about what you build a house upon. You build a house upon a foundation. Every house must be built upon a foundation. And it says a wise woman build in her house, right? So if she's wise, she would build it on a foundation. We see that this house is spiritual. I done talked about this in many videos. So if we notice that this house is spiritual and she's supposed to build it on a spiritual foundation, then what foundation would this be? Let's go to Matthews. Matthews chapter 7. <clears throat> uh, start at 18, Hebrew. Matthew gonna, chapter 7. Yeah, it started uh, verse 18. Remember, a wise woman build of her house and a foolish woman tears it down. We're in the book of Matthew, not Matthews. Mm -hmm. Chapter 7. <laughs> you said verse 18? Yeah, verse 18. <clears throat> and it reads. You know I got a list, man. I know it, and, and, <laughs> and it's okay. <laughs> a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Now, this is very, very interesting that Yahweh Shah Hamashiach said this because we get a lot of these women that says, I'm a virtuous woman. I'm a virtuous woman. I'm all for the Lord. I follow God. Mm -hmm. But everything they produce is wicked. So how is you this virtuous woman or striving to be virtuous, but none of the fruits you produce? And I'm not talking about gaining people into the actual kingdom or gaining people into the faith. I'm talking about the fruits that you bear from your own members. Everything is wicked. You always yelling, cursing your man out. You know, you get mad at him. You call him a, 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 a B-A-N. Huh? Y'all know what I'm talking about? A bitch ass nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Saying things that you wouldn't dare say. But when it's all good, you cool. But as soon as it's something that goes against you and your personality, whether it lines up with scripture or not, it can line all the way up with scripture. But it goes against what you have made up. Because you, look, a foolish woman has her own commandments in her head. Mm -hmm. It's not the commandments of the most high. Mm -hmm. She have her own established, made up commandments within herself. And when she feels somebody broke what she, the law she made with inside herself, now she turned into this witch. Huh? It's like she twinkle her nose and she's just somebody else. So it says, what does it say again? Verse 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. So if you claiming to be this virtuous woman or this woman striving to be virtuous, but every fruit that you bear is evil, you're a liar. And you're a woman that destroy and you do not build up. Meaning that you you don't have wise hands to build up your house. You have clamorous hands that tear it down. Mm. And remember, this house is your family, which is your king, your children, plus the brick and mortar. Huh? Everything that, that dwells inside this abode, you tear it down. Because... You're really not of the most high. You are of yourself. Mm. And that's what I've really been understanding. Not talking about all women. Remember, if this don't apply to you, this is not for you. But women are lovers of themselves. They're lovers of themselves. They don't love God. They, a lot of you women is not putting God first. And it shows by the fruit that you're bearing. Mm. You're tearing your whole house down. Huh? Your whole house down. As soon as you get mad, you put your business on Facebook. You telling everything that goes on inside your abode to everybody that's around you. And half the time, it's not even the naked truth anyway. And it's very biased because you so full of emotions. So then you got everybody around you looking at your king like he out of his mind and like he evil and wicked. And the whole time is you. That's not a wise woman. Come on, you bro. Verse 18 again. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Yeah. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. It can't. Come on. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. You hear that? So, if you out here pretending, because it'd be a lot of pretending going on, just not, and not even with women, with men too, pretending to be of the most high and is of Satan. It says, you will be prepared for hell fire. For hell fire. Come on. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. 
Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. So by their fruits, ye shall know them. So it's all you hear is bickering, complaining, getting cursed out every time she mad. Unseen selfishness. She want to do what she want to do. She can't be in subjection. Huh? It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. You see, the, you see the, the fruit on the tree? If it's an orange fruit, it's an orange tree. She claiming to be an apple, but she's acting like an orange. Well, it's an orange. Mm -hmm. Huh? What they say, if it quack like a duck, if it look like a duck, and if it walk like a duck, it's a what? It's a duck. Huh? If she's clamorous, she don't know how to be quiet. Huh? She does nothing to invoke your spirit in and to bring you farther into enlightenment. And if she's not a help me, then what is she? She's one of them bad batteries that drain the life out of you. Huh? Or she's bored. A lot of women get bored. Because they, they pray and they ask for a, a man of the most high. And then they get a man of the most high. And it don't be all what it's cracked up to be. Mm. You know? No, the Negro don't like to go to the club. No, you know what I'm saying? Like a Negro of the most high likes to study. But oh, you don't like to study. Huh? It's you. Because you know the more you study, the more it's going to put you into objection to your man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and inwardly, you want to rule everything. And that's what you, you was not put here for that. Huh? We read in Genesis 3, verse 16, that the man will rule over the woman. And it wasn't, look, technically, technically it wasn't even like that in the beginning because it was a, 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 a union. But what happened? The woman got beside herself. And what hmm. Satan do? Satan slithered right on through that garden. And she, instead of listening to her man and playing her role, she wanted to rule and get wisdom and be wise amongst all. And she ended up laying down with another man. Now for that, it's commanded that we rule. We rule over the woman. Because obviously, y'all don't do well by yourselves. But when we read in scripture, it is not good for a man to be alone. If, if it ain't good for a man to be alone, obviously the woman ain't supposed to be alone either. But then again, it's, it's not, and I mean it's not, you know, to be coming down on the sisters. Because in the book of Proverbs, it says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good, good thing. Things. You understand? And like I say, I'm 25 years in, all praises to the most high, and it has not been an easy road. But when it's something worth something coming easy, because if you get it too easy, it's not worth very much. You know, but we work toward the things that we want. If we want to have a working relationship, we have to establish who does what? Yeah, ro they, roles have to be played. Exactly. And, 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 and stay in your lane. You know, if if somebody beating on my door at 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to grab that rusty thing and I'm going to go take care of that business. She ain't even got to wake up. But I don't expect her to get up and go. So, I mean, you got to know your position, play your position, and, and you can live harmoniously. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be good every day. But if you know uh, you got we, a good one, man. We're going to get to that first year. Woof. Let's get it done. <laughs> The book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21. Not every one that saith unto me, Master, Master, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. You hear that? My, my master is the Lord God. Mm -hmm. huh? But you got a master in your house, though. You have a king amongst you. Huh? You don't call him king, lord, or nothing. Huh? But you, you wicked as all out hell, but you would claim that the, that the father is your father and you would claim that Yahweh Shai is your Lord. When you have a master inside your house, you don't even abide by the rules he sent for you. So if you not even following him, you damn sure ain't following the most high mm -hmm. and his only begotten son. Like quit playing yourself and quit playing with men. You playing yourself and you wasting time, valuable time. We don't even have time to waste mm -hmm. and you're wasting time and you're wasting people time. Mm. Because you're tearing down houses and not building them up. Come on. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in thy name? Mm. And in thy name have cast out devils? Mm. And in thy name done many wondrous works or wonderful works? Mm -hmm. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You hear that? Do you want to be that person? You want to be that woman? Huh? Do you want to be that woman? Acting wicked and then t claiming you a king. I'm a black queen. I don't see no queenly in you. 
Because everything that you're supposed to be doing, you don't do. Huh? You see how these scriptures can apply to any type of situation? Mm -hmm. Come on. Verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. <laughs> what? A wise a man. A wise man. Meaning if you listen to instructions, you are wise. If you listen to instructions, you are wise. It says a woman beauty is in her silence. Huh? He, he gave it to you free. You don't have to pay for that. Mm. Open up the book. It tells you that. It tells a woman what she should wear. It tells a woman her, her role. It, it tells a woman her position of and her authority. So if, if you take it upon yourself to in your head to change what these scriptures says and get mad when somebody tries to enforce these very scriptures, you're not mad at the man. You ain't mad at me. You're not mad at elders. Mm -hmm. You're mad at the most high. And that's the problem with a foolish woman. She's not mad at the man. She's mad at God. Because God, and then they claim, yeah, well, it ain't fair. Life ain't fair. Huh? I mean, hell, we see people out here playing like they professing to be Christ every day. Mm -hmm. Because they want his position. Well, guess what? You will never get his position. Mm. He's the only begotten son. Just like our position is be the man and we're over the woman. It's just what it is. And just like the woman is over the children, that's just what it is. We even see children bucking up, trying to overrun their parents because they want that authority. What's, what's going on here is a role agenda. Everybody forgetting their roles. Mm -hmm. Huh? And this is called being foolish, not being a fool. Because once you get called a fool, that means you're done. Being foolish, a foolish woman, meaning she have a chance to reconcile, to repent, to turn back and get and get her household back right. Especially if it's built on that good foundation that we reading about. Come on. Verse 24 again. Therefore, whosoever heareth, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Which built his house upon a rock. Built his house on what? A rock. Uh, that same rock that fathered the Israelites through the wilderness. Huh? That same rock that was split and gave water to Israelites. That same rock, which is they call the chief cornerstone. This rock is called a Mashiach Yahweh Jesus the Christ. So if, if, if you build your house upon this rock... You can't tear it down. And if you do fall back and you tear it down and you get down to the foundation, you will realize Christ is there mm -hmm. and he will help build you back up. But a foolish woman, she don't even start from foundation. A foolish woman tried to build a house from the roof down. Mm. You can't do that. How you going to pass up Christ? And if you pass up Christ, I know for a fact you're going to pass up your husband. That's right. Huh? You can't lead yourself. That's the problem with a foolish woman. She thinks she leads herself. And the moment something goes wrong and it goes against what she had fabricated and made up in her own mind, you a B.A. nigga. Huh? You ain't worth nothing. You don't do nothing for me anyways. Then she want to push the I'm independent agenda. But hold, you, you hard, you this and that. But look, like Elder said, let that door not let somebody knock on that door at four in the morning. You're going to be waking who up? Yo, King. Huh? But do they actually say that kind of stuff to brothers? Yeah, man, I did. Yeah, you know, my real would never. I mean, I love her. She loves me. She ain't gonna talk to me like that. She know I'm the man. Does that mean that mean your rib is not a foolish woman? Well, she, you know, she's got a pretty solid house too. <laughs> <laughs> is that crazy, man? <laughs> Let's get her done. Verse twenty-five. And the rain descended, and the floods came, uh -huh. and the winds blew. Huh, do 24 again. Oh, I was about restart, to. Let me, let me restart this real fast. All right, go ahead. Verse 24 again. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. A good foundation. Come on. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not. You see that? All these different types of sins tried to come and destroy the house. All these different type of demons. Satan sent forth his armies to beat and trotten down his house. Mm -hmm. But it stood and it stood firm because she was builded up in Christ. She built her house on a solid foundation, meaning she was a wise woman. Huh? But look, let the foolish woman build this house. 
Remember, she tear it down. As soon as the wind blow, it's gone. It's mm -hmm. flat. It's somewhere else. Huh? Come on. For it was founded upon a rock. Mm. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. You hear that? Shall be likened unto who? A foolish man. A foolish man. Remember, when we get into these scriptures, man and woman is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Huh? When when you talking in this type of uh this type of incense, when you talking this type of incense, man and woman is the same thing. This apply both ways. Yeah. Apply both ways. Because guess what? We just read in Proverbs 14 verse 1 that a woman build a house. Huh? Mhm. Mm so it's saying, look, woman, build your house on a solid foundation built in Christ before you even get a man. Make sure you know who you are first. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're not foolish. Make sure that you're not headstrong. Make sure that you ain't pushing this independent agenda. Make sure that you know that if you get with a Hebrew man or a man of the Lord, period. I ain't going to even say Hebrew man. A man of the Lord, period. That you are into full subjection to him. Check yourself first. Because look, most of the time, it's the woman. I'm telling you, look, I, I didn't, I see too much. I didn't been through too much. Like, the women be off too. Like, the thing, look, of course, it all, look, it always go downhill to the man, you know, especially the, the black man. Look, it's our <laughs> fault. Even if it ain't our fault, it's our fault. Because yeah. that's how it's going to look to the assembly. That's how it's going to look to the public. But once you really get behind them secret chambers and start dashing it out, you be like, man, it wasn't even him in the first place. It be them wicked women, them foolish women. Again, I'm not talking about the virtuous ones or the ones that striving to be virtuous. I'm talking about ones that these scriptures apply to. You got to check it. Check it now. Check in or check out. Come on. Verse 26 again. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. Which built his house upon the sand. You hear that? Build your house on sand. That's not a foundation. You know what sand is? Sand is minerals. Compact minerals. Guess what the wind, if the wind blows, guess what the sand do? It blows. Guess what? If you put water on sand, it turns into like this muddy dirt. This weak foundation. Then it rock up. Like anything that you do to sand, sand is so flimsy. It's so weak. And it takes the shape of anything. Why would you build your house upon that? It says the foolish does that. Huh? You building your house on something you unsure of. Because mm. you unsure of yourself. Pretending to be somebody you not. Pretending to be this virtuous woman. Pretending to be this good queen. But, but inside you a graveyard. So you looking for other people to fit in that grave. Ain't this what graveyards for? For you to put dead bodies in? Mm. So you seeking a life of kings. You seeking a life of men. Because you need something to fulfill your void. Mm. Come on. Verse 27. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, mm. and beat upon the house. It did what? It beat upon the house, uh -huh. and it fell. And it fell. It wasn't, it wasn't on a, it, look, it wasn't founded in Christ. It wasn't founded in a mashiach, how was shot. It wasn't founded in this word, these scriptures, which you supposed to be founded in. Remember, you're a virtuous woman. That's what a lot of y'all professing. Okay, be that. Come on. And great was the fall of it. Who? It says great. Made him when right. he hit the ground, it hit the ground hard. When it busted the head, it busted his head hard. And the same thing that's coming for a lot of you women if you don't change your ways, your inner parts, your house. Come on. Verse 28. And it came to pass when Yeshua had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them. As one having authority and not as the scribes. Come on. And that's great because look, even if you go to like Psalms uh, 127 and 1, it says, except the Lord build the house, it says, those that built it labored in vain. So same thing that applies to the woman or to the man. Like if you plan on building this house, if you plan on establishing your family, establishing anything within yourself, the Lord has to be in the midst of it and at the bottom of it because he is that solid rock. Remember, a wise woman build of her house, but a foolish woman tear it down. Let's go to Proverbs 9. Get to the Proverbs. Let's bounce around for a little minute. Okay. Proverbs 9. My well start at one. <laughs> All right, we can do that. We're in the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 1. 
Wisdom hath builded her house. It says what? Wisdom hath builded her house. Proverbs 14 and 1, it says a wise woman built of her house. Now we see wisdom building her house, showing you that wisdom is, is, is in significance as a woman. Y'all supposed to be striving to be like wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Be wisdom to your man. You know, you're supposed to be his better half. Offer him solutions, uh, helping him solve problems, That's not right. being a problem. Right. Huh? You're supposed to be his peace, not his headache. It seems like all I've been around is bros with women with headaches. Huh? They Look, you work all day for the cracker. Work all day hard for the cracker. Warring with crackers, with demons in the world. Then you come home to another headache. Mm. The Negro don't even want to come home. Mm. Huh? How, you, that should make you feel very, very, very incomplete that your own king don't want to come home to you. Huh? He'd rather stay out with the demons and stay out banging against the world than to come home because now we got to deal with you. What, what type of, like, what have happened to the black woman? What have happened to the black man? We're going to read about that too, though. Come on. Wisdom has builded her house. Uh -huh. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. Yeah, that hewn out, gave them away. Come on. She hath killed her beast. Mm. She hath mingled her wine. Uh -huh. She hath also furnished her table. You see that? So this, this wisdom, this wise woman, she's doing all these wise things. This sound like Proverbs 31 to me. Sound like she's bringing food into the house. She's making sure the furniture is good. She's getting the wine ready. Huh? It sounds like she's setting the house for something. She set in the house for something to be invited over. Come on. See, that's just like that other class we did. Get your house in order. Yeah, not you the know? one that's built with mortar. Yes, yeah. sir. Verse 3. She has sent forth her maidens. Uh -huh. She crieth upon the highest places of the city. Yeah. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. You hear that? So it says, whoso is simple, what? Let him turn in hither. Turn, go in there, get you some wisdom. Mm -hmm. Huh? Get you some wisdom. Come on. As for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Mm. Forsake the foolish and live. You hear that? Forsake the who? The foolish. And live. So if, if you a simple man and you with a foolish woman and, and wisdom finally knock on your door and she like, look, leave the foolish and live. Get away from her. Get away from her. If, if she can't listen to wisdom and understanding, if she can't get down with what the scripture talking about, then look, move it along. And then look, let's really get on the subject here. Most of the time the women go off anyway be because of another woman. Mm. Huh? And like he said, he, he don't want another wife. No. Nah. But it's not a sin to have another one. There's nowhere in the scriptures that says it's a sin to have another wife. You get mad at a man for exercising his God-given right. Huh? And then tear your house down. When he gonna deal with another woman anyways? Huh? Like Paul said, let every man have a proper gift, you know? It's for everybody, it's not for everybody. It is what it is. But this is what I'm saying. If, if, a, man, if a man and a woman get together and they establish some things and you know that this man is a, a man into polygamy and then he get another woman and all of a sudden you catch a wild hair up your behind and you turn into Dracula 3000, what's going on here? It's, not, it's nothing wrong with him adding on to his household. Plus you knew he was a man that, that adds onto his household before he got with you. So what is your problem? Your problem is not him. Your problem is the scriptures. Now it might be some things he didn't do in order. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he might look, hell, sometimes men just be one vagina and can't even take care of the woman. Now them are, them are problems, but look, again, we talked about that in the sexual manipulation. We're talking about the woman now. We talking about a man that do got his stuff together, a man that can take care of more than one woman, a man that is not a liar. He's not sexually manipulating nobody. He's just trying to build his house and you know that he's into polygamy and you agree with it. Then when it goes against you and you get that jealousy spirit on you and you get that I want him all to myself spirit on you. Now you wicked as all out hell. You just wicked now. So that means you've been pretending. And that means you don't get down with scripture. Because we see scripture talking about this. All the patriarchs had multiple wives. And I'm not even making this about multiple wives. I'm just giving you one instance where uh, a woman is doing good. And then as soon as another woman get involved, all hell break loose. And she knew about it from the, from the jump anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Now again, I, for the record, it's men I heard that don't want more than one wife. They just need one. They got my elder no right here. I know a couple people. You know what I'm saying? That's all good. That's his proper gift. That's how you want to do it. But if he wanted to exercise his God-given right, he can add on to his household. And no, you can't add on to yours, woman. <laughs> That'd be the problem. That's the problem, though. The problem is oh. they think things are not fair. They're mad at the position and the role that they have to play. And according to scripture, that is off. I'm just saying. And it's not, this is scripture. It's not me. Scripture. Come on. Verse 5. Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Mm. Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. You know, jump to the first 13 just for time's sake because we got a lot of scripture we got here. A foolish woman is clamorous. You hear that? It says a foolish woman is what? Clamorous. Let's look up this word foolish. We looked up the word wise. Look up this word foolish. Check this out, he bros and she bros. Strong's H, 3687. Cassie Luth. Cassie Luth. Cassie Luth. Look, Cassie Luth. It says stupidity. Stupidity. Stupid. Foolish. Let's go down all the way. <laughs> it's what it, is. it says. Stupid. Silliness. Foolish. Mm, stupidity. Mm. <laughs> You're stupid. And clamorous in here says it's boisterous is what clamorous uh, means. Well, I do. so boisterous, stupidity. Well, that's what foolish is. Let's look up this word clamorous. We looked up foolish and it says stu stupidity. Now let's look up clamorous. 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 Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. Hamas. Right, check it out, family. Your phone got a delay on it or something else? Strong's H, 1993. It's bashful. Hama. 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 Let's look at what this says. It says to growl, to murmur, mm, to roar. Mm -hmm. huh? Ain't that what we hear? Clamors. We're always yapping off at the mouth, roaring. Mm -hmm. To growl. Like she's a man, back and forth, arguing with a man. You never said, we never, where in scripture did the man lip wrestle with his woman? Huh? <laughs> it's crazy. Boisterous. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go down to the Strongs. It says a to make a loud sound. She's always loud. She's not quiet. Remember, your beauty is in your silence. A loud sound. It says rage, war, to moan, to clamor, to cry aloud, to be disquiet, to mourn, to be moved, to make a noise, rage, war, sound, to be troubled, make a tumult. It says to be in a uproar, mm. meaning she have no class. She, she's always out of control. She's always angry because she's emotionally unstable. Wow. And the reason why is she don't get along with these scriptures. It ain't the man that be the scriptures. Uh, that's a foolish woman. Let's go back to the script. We're in verse 13 of Proverbs chapter 9. Yeah. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple mm. and knoweth nothing. You hear that? She know nothing. She's always talking, but she don't even know nothing. She's always telling you what's right and wrong, but she never tell you what the Bible say about what's right and wrong. Huh? I just don't feel what I feel. That's just don't feel. It's like, well, what scripture says? Huh? What do scripture say? What is established with thus says the Lord? Not what thus says you, but what did the Lord say? Huh? And not only what did the Lord say, if I'm not off and I'm following the Lord, hell, what did I say? You in subjection, right? Oh, oh, you're not. You only in subjection when it benefits you. And that's what makes you a foolish woman. Because instead of building your house, you tear it down with your own hands. And then you cry and you mock and, and you run and you tell when it's all destroyed. Huh? And that's called trying to save face. So now you got him looking all bad. Got him looking like he's just this terrible guy when he's not. The whole time it was you. And then years and years show it because soon as you depart and you leave, you start circling the drain. Huh? Everything else keep going forward with this king, but you start circling the drain. Everybody you come in contact with, now all of a sudden you're not with them no more. This is what's going on. Obviously it's not him, it's... You. Come on. Verse 14. 
For she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat mm. in the high places of the city mm. to call passengers who go right on their way. You hear that? So now she's putting herself in authority. She sitteth upon the house. Why are you not in the house? What did it say? It says she sitteth at the door of the house. Huh? What is you doing on a door? seat? On a seat. What in is the you? height of the city. In the height of the city. What is you doing putting yourself in authority places? Your head supposed to be low. You supposed to be shame faced it. Huh? Not only is you clamorous, meaning you're loud mouth, not only it says that you a foolish me, which means you're stupid and you know not nothing. And we, look, I'm not woman bashing. This is scripture. And I'm talking about a foolish woman. I'm not talking about a woman that's striving to be a daughter of Zion at all. So please, please listen to me when I say that. I'm talking about these wicked women that's pretending to be daughters of Zion. It says that you you trying to put yourself in authority and you making man go in error. Every time they pass by, you want to distract somebody. And let me guess, tear down a house? Come on. Verse 15. To call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. You hear that? So if you simple-minded, you simple-minded said, let them turn hither. Huh, matter of fact, this is the same as a... Uh, 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 mm -hmm. A wicked, a wicked man is given this portion of a wicked woman, mm -hmm. huh? Come on. And as for him that wanteth understanding, she said to him, "Stolen waters are sweet." You hear that? He want to get understanding. She feed him all kinds of bull. Stolen waters are sweet, meaning if you want some sweet water, go steal it. Uh, what that mean? Mm. That sounds like adultery. Thou shalt not steal and all. That sounds like if we can take this broadly and <laughs> it's like a lot of commandment right. breaking just in this one line. Because that's what she do. She have her own commandments established with inside her own self. She don't follow the most high. She's in love with herself. A foolish woman is a lover of self. She don't love the most high. She pretend to love the most high. And the moment that it goes against her, she turns into Dracula 3000. Hmm. Veins grow, canines, and all kinds of stuff. You'd be like, I've been in bed with a demon this whole time. Come on. Stolen waters are sweet, mm -hmm. and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. Right. But he knoweth not that the dead are there, mm -hmm. and that her guest are in the depths of hell. You hear that? Her guess is in the depths of hell. Mm. Meaning she will bring you to them gates. She will bring you down. Huh? Look, think about it. And she make you die quick. Think about coming home to a foolish, wicked woman every day. Mm. Negro dying at a heart attack at 40 off of that. You can't survive five, ten no, years of that, no, man. No, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know and see, that's why I say, you know, and this puts me in the mind of that movie Norbert. Yeah, when, Norbert. Yeah, when he had that big gal and she was running. Him. Yeah. You know, that's totally out of order. I, you know, I see some sisters raising their voices and getting all in a man's face. You can't whoop a man. And if you can whoop a man, that's not the man you need to be with. <laughs> Straight you up. know what I mean? So You ain't even supposed to be trying to whoop him. Right. Treat a man like a man and allow him to treat you like a woman. Be his queen, but treat him like your king. Don't I can't believe that women actually Calling brothers out of their names like that, man. I mean, we we don't even get out like that. I love my rib, and, and that's the last thing in the world I want to do is hurt her. And, and I can't take two of them because she's emotional and she be tripping, but that's mine. You understand? That's I'm, that's you mine. You can't take too many of those. Oh, no, I can't. I couldn't take another half a woman. I, that's, she, you know, I mean, because I have to deal with her because she deals with me. You understand? And I'm, I'm two handfuls. To be totally honest, you know, but she's my help meet. She uh -huh. helps meet every need I have, and that's that's my Good. baby. She's not a foolish woman. Check this out. So you was talking about that. This is Proverbs 31, verse 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto a woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It says, Nor thy ways to mm. that which destroyeth kings. Don't give your strength over to a woman. You was made to lead the household. You was made to protect the, the household and her. That's right. So what are you doing bowing down in subjection to her like that? Huh? You were made to rule. Matter Man. of fact, let's hit that too. Let's hit that Genesis uh, 3, 16, and then we're going to go ahead and move forward. Yeah, man, I see see sisters yelling in brothers' faces and brothers just man. standing there. I mean, that you know, I, I don't really call that. Hey, oh man, I'm just trying to be in control, man. Well, no, you're not in control because she's out of control. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know that don't even look right. And look, I see this every day 
when me and uh bruh, me and Milo, you know, we always working out in these streets, man. Every time, every time, this is what makes man, it, it really gets me pissed off. Every time I see one of our black sisters in the streets, she always real, real loud, or mm. she cursing out her boyfriend. Boisterous. Yeah, I don't clamorous. Right. I don't like man, what's going on? Right. Huh? We look the sister the black sister have lost their way and the black man have lost his way. That's just what it is. Right. But I just see men are really striving to get it done and get it right and then I see an off sister. Or I see the sister really striving and then he off. It's like, right. come on, when is y'all gonna start complimenting each other? Yes, sir. How many lessons are we gonna have to do about this? Hey. Back and forth, man, woman, man, woman. Huh? Come on. We're in the book of Genesis. Chapter 3, verse 16. Let me restart this real quick. Let's get her done. We'll be reading from the book of Genesis. Chapter 3, verse 16. Let's go. Unto the woman he said. So look, these are the punishments and these are what's happening. These are the curses he put upon Adam and, and Kaya, Kawa for, for sinning. For going against his commandments, right? Come on. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. Uh -huh. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, mm. and thy desire shall be to thy husband. You hear that? The desire, because remember, her desire went to Satan. It says, no, for now on, the woman desire is supposed to be to the husband. These are commands. So if your desire is not to your, your, your husband, you're out of order and you're breaking law. Come mm -hmm. on. And he shall rule over thee. Not only is the desire supposed to be towards him, he shall rule over you. So what are you doing trying to uprule him? What are you doing trying to absorb authority in your household? Right. Huh? Oh, because you really think it's your household. It's his. He run the house. You just building it up for him. That's what you call it. Help me for it. Come on. Verse 17. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. You hear that? Since you listen to your wife, you're not supposed to be listening to your woman unless she's telling you good things like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, scripture say that, King. I don't think you should be doing that. Hey, well, you better listen to that. That's a wise woman. You know what I'm saying? Cleave on to her. But if she telling you, if he bringing you some type of fornication or she's uproaring and nigga, you better do this. What's going to be that? Huh? Be a nigga. Mm. I still can't grasp hold of that. Man, look, that, I've been no. I've been hearing that a lot lately. I done been no. called it before. No. I've been hearing that a lot lately from a lot of brothers though. Like women, as soon as they get mad and they get in their feelings, they get to calling their king's bitch ass niggas. No. You might as well spit in your king's face. And For he'll real. never respect you after that. Like a level of respect is gone. Yeah, like, it's pretty much over at yeah, that point. It really is. Yeah. I mean, I'm keeping a hundred. Right, we talk. Is. You know what I'm saying? You should never, you might as well spit in his face, call a white man on him and, 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 and let him drag him up the street or something. That's how disrespectful that is. And, and to fix your mouth to even say that to your king lets you know that you don't look at him like he's your king. You don't respect him as That's a man. Right. You can't. The, the respect for the black man is out the door because we have lost our power. But we getting our power back slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Come on. And has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Mm. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. Uh -huh. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. We can stop there right there. Let's get back into, uh, back into these Proverbs. Okay, let's get back into it. Matter of fact, look, let's get in this lost book. Real. I mean, not the lost book, but uh, the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha. In the book of Sirach. You already know. And look, these scriptures that y'all familiar with, and what's crazy is the foolish woman go over these scriptures all the time. They can read this verbatim, word for word, but they don't follow nothing it say. Because they don't agree with they it. They don't agree with it at all. Oh, this ain't me. This don't apply yeah, to me. Yeah, when it does, you're an ender now. Right. You're ending now. That's, that's what it be. Yeah. It's all good. Scriptures is all good. You all for the Lord. The Lord. You are for the Lord until it goes against you, until right. it goes against your agenda. And it's a spirit on these women in this day where they want to rule everything. They want to change the man position. Right. That's huh? a natural order of things. Yeah, man. and they are trying that. to change it. 
And the scripture yeah. even teaches us that a woman is not to usurp authority over a man. Yeah, and we got all that. So look, let's read this. We're going to get into rock real fast and we're going to go straight to the order. Hit one of a couple more scriptures to get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's get this a rock. Let me get to a Hebrew. Yeah, man. But I mean, this is nothing, you know, this is not bashing the sisters. It's, it's maybe to shake some of the other sisters that's a little bit beside themselves and getting a little out of order and thinking it's okay, but... Now, Elder... The hell with that. It ain't a little out of order. You ain't well, following see, what these scriptures saying. That's out of order. Yeah, see, and I don't I don't experience those things because I'm not I'm not I, you're, I'm not, you're not with a foolish woman. Man, I love my wife, man. Yeah. Woo. See crazy. you soon, baby. <laughs> a be about Israel. That's my baby. That's <laughs> it. <what I said. laughs> Shout out to home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Crazy, <laughs> We're in the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus. You say she, 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 she built her house yes, up. Yes, sir. Her, All her house is solid, too. All crazy. Crazy. And look, it, you know, it's not it's not a lot of bad women out there. It's a lot of good women out there, too. But, man, the bad ones you do come across, it'll blow your mind. And what I've really been realizing is uh, women have a mental illness. It's a mental sickness that's going on. Mm -hmm. And y'all need to be retaught. But the thing is, y'all so in this independent stage and y'all are so ruly because what the white man have taught y'all with the with the uh the wick and the the food stamps That's and the right. child support, Don't all play. these things that this white man been giving y'all, and they, they lock all the, the brave men up. They take give them felonies, they can't get a job, they can't get a car. So they give you all this shit and then they take it all away from the man, so it makes you feel like that you empowered and over him. I don't need no man. Yeah, so you getting and so then when you get with him, you treat him like what you call him, which mm -hmm. is a bitch ass nigga. Mm -hmm. And that is totally off and it's totally wrong and the most high will judge for that. We'll judge for that. And and like the the man have put this type of oppression on you where he made you think that you are free and that the nigga is not free. When we both not free. Only way right. we both can be free is through a Mashiach Yahweh shot. Right. And when we both come to that that uh realization and realize that that we need that foundation that we was reading for in the beginning, then the wise woman can build our house and the foolish woman can get the hell on up out of her. You know what I'm saying? And the man can rule the house that the wise woman built. Right. But until then, until you realize that you're a slave and you're being a you're being used as a deadly instrument towards the black man. Mm -hmm. And you don't even realize it. A tool of manipulation. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Real Remember, talk. We made we made the video sexual manipulation talking about the man and the woman, but y'all been used as a tool of manipulation too to the man. And then the th first thing you say when you get mad at him, you broke nigga. He got seven felonies, been to jail half his life, can't get no job nowhere, child support, so they took his license, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's a he's a no good nigga. Come on, man. Man, like I, this is a hypocrisy. For I, real. Think, uh, I think I uh, think you know one of one of the biggest things that to hurt. The uh, Hebrew Israelite community, man, was integration yeah. and welfare system, and then it, yeah. you know, it diminished the uh, the the worth of the the black man in the yeah. house. Yeah, and then the women, you know, got to the point where they. Well, look, Tommy, I'm your mama and your daddy. He ain't got a job, so he ain't, you know, in this. Man, Elder, in the state of Missouri, if you're on public housing or if you're on uh, what's the other one called? Not public what? housing, but the other one. Section eight. Section eight. Yeah. If you are, if you on public housing or section eight in the state of Missouri, the man cannot be a part of the household. Mm. They even do inspections and come look for shoe male shoes, checking closets, yep. make sure ain't no man clothes there. The whole agenda is to keep the black king up out of the household. That's what they And y'all falling for it. Y'all falling for it because y'all foolish and, and they gave you this type of unruly wisdom and authority. The same thing that Satan promised to give Eve in the garden. Mm -hmm. And y'all went with it. Just the same as your foremother bit the bait. Your mm -hmm. first Eve, she bit the bait and took it. Y'all doing the same thing. And what happened to Eve? She died because of that. And it says that all wickedness is but a little wickedness to the woman. It says because the woman, through the woman first came sin and through her we all die. Mm. And y'all still keeping up the same thing when Eve repented for that. Why are y'all not repenting? Huh? But we'll point the finger at the man soon as this Negro get off. 
Soon as he go off, it's all hell. Y'all going to elders. Y'all trying to expose him to the, the to the assembly. <laughs> I'm talking about it be some crazy stuff going on. Soon as the Negro go off, he go off a little bit. I'm oh, talking about y'all, y'all put it's going on Fox 2 News. <laughs> but behind closed door, your ass going off every minute of the day. Mm-hmm. That's a hypocrite. And look, you will be judged for that if you don't change. Remember, foolish woman, not a fool woman. Foolish, meaning you just have foolish ways. You can change these right now. Be what you say you are. You pretend and say you are a virtuous woman. Strive to be that. Don't only be virtuous when it's profitable and benefits you. It's not right. You're supposed to be virtuous because the Most High commanded you to be. Mm -hmm. Come on, you bro. We're in the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 12. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of his love. Mm, you hear that? Everybody looking for love. You don't love me. It don't feel like it was in the beginning. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of love. As long as we establish in this truth and build up off the faith of Mashiach Yahweh Shah, that's all the love we need. We can build from there. But if you too busy doing what you want to do and making your own command, look, hell, build your own church then. You might as well go build your own church and be your own God. You know, the Kemet love that, you know, the black woman is God. They're goddesses and, you know, you can drink their bath water, sip on period blood. You know, that's what them Negroes do. Mm. We don't do that over here. We have a whole different ideology of thought. This is a masculine type of, of, of spirituality here when it comes to the man. So, like, if you want to be all that and get worshipped like that, you know, join the Kemet. They do all of that. You know what I'm saying? But like, according to our scripture, the guidelines and the ruler stick and the measuring stick that we go by, it don't go down like that. Mm. Come on. The fear of the most high is the beginning of his love and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto Ooh, him. You hear that? Come on. Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart mm. and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. You hear that? He said, give me any plague. But the plague of the heart, the mind, mm -hmm. meaning, please don't turn me into a fool. The plague of the mind, be a reprobate. He said, I'll take any plague but that. Right. And he said, give me any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Mm. You know why? Because the wickedness of a woman is subtle. It's very, very, very deceiving. You will be getting deceived. You'll be getting bamboozled and don't even know it. You will be, the man will be getting manipulated because you can be with her for years on end. As long as you plan into her agenda, it's all good. She's this virtuous woman. But the moment you go against these commands that she have in her head and what the white man have given her or what she have given herself, mm -hmm. I'm not going to even blame the white man. Right. These things that she have given herself, these authorities that she have given herself with this Jezebel spirit she got in her, all hell break loose. And you'd be like, who the hell is this? Where did that come Where, from? Who did I marry? <laughs> who did I marry? What did you do with my wife? He said, look, give me any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Mm. Because the wickedness of a woman is very mischievous. Very, very mischievous. Come on. Verse 14. And any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me. Straight up. And any revenge but the revenge of enemies. Mm. There is no head above the head of a serpent. You hear that? There ain't no head above the head of the serpent. Ain't no Negro sin before Satan sin. Ain't no head above him. He's the beginning of sin. Mm. And he's going to die the chief of it. Ain't no sin above his sin. Come on. And there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. Ooh. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon. Than to keep house with a wicked woman. Do you hear this? He said he would rather dwell with a lion. Back then, they weren't taming lions, y'all. Lions was wild as all get up. Dragons mm. breathe fire out their mouth. They mm. scorch everything they see. He said he'd rather dwell with a wild lion and a fire-breathing dragon than to dwell in a house with a wicked, foolish woman. Do you know what that means? That means if you come across a foolish woman and you see that she's not changing in her ways, get the hell away from her fast and in a hurry because she's going to bring you down when she tears down that house. You coming down with it. Remember, the house was the family. The house was the abode. The house was the inward part, the inward man. So when she tear down her house, guess what else she's tearing down? Mm -hmm. Your black ass. Get away from her fast and in a hurry. These And look, you see the telltale signs. 
when it keep happening over and over and over and over again. Because remember, they have a sickness. Not talking about virtuous women, foolish women. They got a sickness. Sometimes they don't even know they sick and they actually think in their head that they're doing right. 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 They don't even find wrong in, in, in their wickedness. And then they justify it by you following or exercising your God-given rights. Whether it be ruling, you know, rule well, my king. Or whether it be adding to your household, hey, add to your household, my king. You know, whether it be any of these things, if it goes against them, they'll flip out, do all kinds of sin, go behind your back, be mischievous as hell. And then when you done with them, they come crawling back because that's what they do because they realize, okay, it's a man of the Lord. I can't be without a man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then they blame you for it. See, it's an illness. It's a sickness. And then they, they apologize and do it over and over and over again because they can't get this foolishness up out of them. On the flip side, though, man do the same thing. Apologize, Apolo apologize a, a thousand times. Negro, you not sorry. That's right. <laughs> Woman, you ain't sorry. Remember, this is not just a, we're not bashing. We're putting this truth out here for the women that this apply to, to really take heed. You know what I'm saying? And if you wicked, check your spirit. That's just what it is. I Look, I can honestly care what y'all feel about Yaki after this video. I can give a hell. You know, I'm not trying to please you or men. I'm trying to please Yahweh. So this is what it is. That's right. But this has to be talked about. Come on. Verse 17. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face. You hear that? The wickedness of a woman changes her face. You see her, she's walking, she's beautiful, she's bad. You like, man, can I get to know you? You get to know her, and she turned out to be wicked, and now all of a sudden she ugly as hell. You like, who is this? Huh? Because <laughs> her personality is so foolish and is so wicked. It changes her whole face yes, expression. Sir. She you, she don't even turn you on no more. You don't want to touch her. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't want to give me my due benevolence. We don't have sex anymore. Who want to lay down with a dragon? That's right. Who? Huh? We're not into bestiality. And that's what you change into when you're not playing your role. Spiritually. I mean, of course, you better not change to no lizard or something like that. Right, no doubt. <laughs> Shape shifting. Yeah, and... You know, no horror movies. Yeah. Come <laughs> on, well, you will. The wickedness of a woman <laughs> changes her face. Yeah. And darkeneth her countenance you know like sackcloth. It darkens her mind like sackcloth. Huh? It darkens her mind. She have a dark, eerie, just a negative mind. When she come around, everything turned bad. It's like, ugh. Like, ugh. And this woman again? How can you go to sleep peacefully to something like that? Huh? How? Every time her, her consciousness is just darkened. Huh? She's always talking about somebody. Always on the phone gossiping. Always got something to say about something. Don't want to listen. But the whole time, she claimed that she's a virtuous woman. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, man. It's catch 22. I'm not ever trying to hear that from a woman. I won't. Don't tell me you virtuous. I'm not going to tell you I'm righteous at all. I'm striving to be righteous. Mm -hmm. quit, quit saying you virtuous. Huh? Because you have a bar. Look. Sarah, Rebecca, look, they done raised the bar. Mm -hmm. Y'all not even coming close to that. So, come on, what's up? What's up with this? And then the thing, y'all, well, I'm not finna share my nigga. I ain't gonna share my man. Okay, well, if it's like that, then I want a virgin. Give me a virgin. I want a virgin woman. Y'all have these own steps and these own guidelines and these own, y'all done had y'all own, y'all done wrote y'all own little handbook out. And the checklist be this long. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're up under a curse. Mm -hmm. The checklist be this low. And the, and the first one to be, yeah, that nigga better not be up. He can't be up under a Deuteronomy 28 curse. Well, they am automatically x out here. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what y'all be wanting, man. Y'all want this king and, and shine and armor to come rescue y'all and to come heal y'all. But then on the flip side, and I'm not calling y'all hoes or nothing. Because we all have been through our things. But y'all already come in damage. Y'all come in with, with multiple children already. That's not mine that I'm finna have to take on. So I'm taking on all these things. These men are taking on all these things. And y'all and y'all not even pure virgins. But y'all expected to be married like y'all are pure virgin. Like it's just the whole thing is out of whack already. Because the oppression that we've been put up under. And then y'all still are banging and pushing the oppressor's agenda. It don't make sense once you really, really get down into the psychological thoughts of this. It, it's nonsense. It's really stupidity. It's foolish. Hmm. Come on. Verse 18. 
her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitter. You hear that? He be at the crib. He he with the neighbor chilling, sipping her beer. She pull up. She just got off work. He be like, damn. Damn, she home. She home. I gotta go face the dragon. Right. <laughs> Yeah. I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta go battle the dragon, huh? <laughs> the dragon slayer, oh, man. Look, I, if any of my brothers are going through this, I pray for y'all. I pray that she get it together, or I pray that you find it in your heart to get gone. Do you see what we just read? He said he'd rather deal with a fire creeping <laughs> dragon and a wild lion than to keep in the house with a wicked woman. You hear that car pull up? She <laughs> will. He Boy, like, that TV better not be hotter than that stove. <laughs> right. like, oh, you're, you're a stay-at-home dad now. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but notice, he's out of order anyway. <laughs> right. Hell, you know that. Right. You know right. that's home with the neighbors. Drinking beer. <laughs> he, he at work. <laughs> and she at work pulling up. <laughs> yeah, that's hobo Hebrewism 101 right there. Okay. That was funny, man. <laughs> yeah. Verse 18. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, right. and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness uh, of a woman. What did it say? All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Come on. Let the portion of a sinner Ooh. fall upon her. You hear that? Let the portion of a sinner fall upon mm. her. Meaning if you are a sinner and you ain't got your stuff together and you are here doing sexual manipulation, guess what you're going to run into? This wicked, foolish ass woman mm -hmm. that's claiming to be, I'm a daughter of Zion. I'm a virtuous woman of the most high. Mm. Uh, but behind them eyelids, them flattering eyelids and that humble smile and that innocent look, is a graveyard with a lot of body. Her body count probably high. She probably got a thousand children. I'm like, it's, it's crazy how I be going. And she probably got her mouth out of this world. Mm. We got to be careful. And look, that's the whole point of this court stage. A lot of us don't like the court. You know what I'm saying? And all of us have been guilty of this in the past. We need to start like, like seven years don't really sound so bad. Court. Like what Jacob and them did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they can pretend for so long, just like the men can pretend for so long. And then soon as y'all get into y'all, y'all, y'all loin warfare, everything changes. Hmm. Come on. Verse 20. As the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the aged, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. Ooh, look, can you picture an old man? Walking up a windy, sandy mountain, sand in his eyes, the wind blowing. He can't, it's like he's just trying to get to the top and he can't. Mm -hmm. It says, What? So is what? A wife full of words to a quiet man. Mm -hmm. It seems like he never gets rest. He never gets rest because, look, a woman, beauty is in her silence and she all she do is this. She's clamorous. She roar, uproar. She's talking loud, huh? Boastful. Man, that will try the man down. That will wear and tear on him. And y'all wonder why these black men are having heart attacks. It ain't only the food, it'll be y'all. Hmm. Black men dying from heart attacks at 40 years old. Mm. Come on. 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman mm. and desire her not for pleasure. For real, because she might look good, but on the inside of her, Ooh. she might be, boy, Stop the it. most ugliest changeable face demon that ever came into contact with any human being. You literally be sticking your rod inside of a demon. Mm. We gotta watch that. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is talking about these foolish women. Not the women that's actually striving to be virtuous. So if this is not for you, if this is not pointed towards you, if this is not talking about your ways, then you shouldn't be mad. But if you are mad, you need to get it together because this applies to you. Come on. Verse 22. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger. You that? How are you going to try to maintain your husband? Put your husband on, under to control. Now nah, you doing this and you doing that. Huh? Now nah, you doing all in my phone. Mm -hmm. Huh? All through my stuff, my personal, but this is my stuff. I look, a man still got to have his personal space. Just like you have yours when you're on your period, you're in your separation time. 
a man need his too. And plus, he's the king of the castle. You know? It's the whole point of a man cave. You ain't never heard of no woman cave. Have you ever heard of one gay? They trying to get one. They trying to get one now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be like the man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you get them sisters that take your whole check and give you ten dollars. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no. Come on, you bro. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, yeah, impudence, mm. and much reproach. Much reproach. See that meaning? You gotta get the hell away from her. Come on. A wicked woman abateth the courage, mm. maketh an heavy countenance, and a wounded heart that will not comfort her husband in distress, maketh weak hands and feeble knees. You hear that? Don't even comfort him when he's in distress and things going on. You don't even know how to bring peace to him because you're too busy being a damn dragon. And probably half the time he's in stress is because of you anyway. Mm. A foolish woman, a wise woman, buildeth her house. But a foolish woman tear it down with her own hands. Come on. Verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. Ooh, of the woman what? Came the beginning of sin. That's right. And through her, we all die. Mm. Through her what? We all die. And through her, we all die. Come on. Give the water no passage. You hear that? Give the water no passage. The buck stops now. Stop it. Give the water no passage. Come on. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. If she wicked, quit giving her the liberty to gad abroad. You can't do what you want to do. You're not going to be no wicked woman in my house talking crazy to me. Huh? Says give her no liberty to gad abroad. You got to stop that. Nip it in the bud. Mm. Huh? What they call it? A ultimatum. Right. Get it together or get gone. Either or. Ain't no in between. The most I don't even like lukewarmness. One minute you virtuous. Next minute you a dragon. No. Nah. No. We don't have time for that. We trying to make the millennium reign. We trying to be the first to rise from the dead and get our, our changeable, incorruptible bodies. I don't have time to be dealing with no wicked ass woman. And you brothers don't either. And look, you women, y'all don't have time to be dealing with no wicked man. Right. But look, we see in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 25. Uh, who was the Hagar mm -hmm. and, and her husband, the ball, which means the fool, mm, the ball, right. the yep. fool. <laughs> he was the foolish, most e one of the most evilest mm. man, man ever. But this sister, mm -hmm. she never disrespected him. She stayed down. Mm -hmm. She stayed playing her. This is a virtuous woman. Held she him played, down. She played her position, held him down, saved his life as much as she can. And at the end, the most high repaid him recompense and killed him. Mm -hmm. she, all she did was pray. She never disrespected him. Right. Never called him a bitch ass nigga. Talked right. down on him. None of these things. She prayed for him. Lord, get him together or just remove him from my life. Right. And the Most High removed him. Yeah. Because he was a fool. It wasn't no getting him together. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's 1 Samuel chapter 25. Read that. Good read. For the women to be like, well, his nigga's just crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. He's driving me up the wall. He's wicked. Would you wop wop? Pray wop. on it. Pray on it. And continue to do your part that's to right. play your role. And the most I'll get rid of him or change his heart. That's right. Either or. Either or. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 26. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from being thy flesh hmm. and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. And let her go. We'll go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, my brother. You, you say who? 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I was still tripping off of that last part. Yeah. It says, <laughs> read that again. It says, uh, if she go not as thou wouldest have her, uh -huh. Cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Meaning if she's not playing her role, she's not listening to you. She's not a subjection. Cut right. her off. Give her a bill of divorce. Let her go. Cut her off from your flesh. Meaning don't lay down with her no more. Give her a bill. And, hey, be on your way. Flat out. That's what it is. Yeah, First Corinthians 11. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look. Don't nobody want to talk about this stuff. Let's right. talk about it. I don't care about being ridiculed and looked at like the bad guy. No He's doubt. a woman basher. Go check all my videos. I uplift the black woman all the time. But look, it's sometimes you got to get on y'all head. For real. We all need it sometimes. Yes, we do. We're in the book of 1 Corinthians, <clears throat> chapter 11, verse 1. 
get her done. By ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach. Yeah. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. You look like a, we in the same spot? Yeah, we in. Alright, look like you need to read off mine or something. No, no, I'm like, hold on, what you read? Because I automatically, my, my mind trained to go directly for verse uh, 2, 3, and 4 and read down. I'm like, oh, okay, oh. yeah, it will start at 1. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, Glenn. <laughs> okay, well, we in verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances. Keep what? Keep the ordinances. Which is commands, come on. As I delivered them to you. Mm hmm. That's the setup for three. See, yeah, one, yeah, two, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. So it's getting into position. It's getting into roles to play. Positions, ranking, right? So the head of every man is Hamashiach, which is the anointed savior, which is Christ. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's, that's my head. Woman, you not my head. Mm -hmm. You not his head. Our head is Christ. We we is his we his wife. You our wife. Mm -hmm. See how you see how I go. We get it misconstrued though. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of what? The woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. Come on. And the head of Yeshua is Hamashiach. Oh, so I mean even, is Yahweh. So even Hamashiach has a head. Hmm. Even all Christ, our Lord, our Master got ahead, which is our Father. You you don't see the man tripping off of that. Do you trip that that your husband is your husband? That Christ is your husband? No. I don't trip, and I follow every command He gives me. I try my hardest too. That's too, right. Because I don't want to. I don't want to get divorced. Right. I don't <laughs> want to make. I want to. I want to make the wedding supper. I don't. I'm not trying to burn in eternity. So I listen, look, I listen to my Christ, I listen to my Lord, but you can't listen to me? And I'm your Lord? I'm your king? Oh, no, that's unfair. Now, that's unfair, and I ain't having that. If I'm in subjection, you got to be in subjection. If I got to follow commands of, of my God and my Lord, you most definitely finna follow some commands. Like, since when do you get to wiggle up out of this picture? Huh? Makes no sense. But look, we dealing with a sick person we're dealing with a mental illness and that's a, that's on a lot of our black women today and we have to learn to to play psychologists sometimes and to realize okay they are mentally ill so let me go into the situation this type of way or let me approach it this type of way you know what i'm saying and another thing like we be getting super, super mad and we don't be dealing in wisdom when they do the things they do. So then, you know, what they say, violence only begets more violence. That's right, that's right. Anger only begets more anger and then anger leads to sin and the scripture says be angry and sin not. Right. So we got to understand that these all sick minded women that we're dealing with, they're mentally ill. So we have to start coming up with spiritual st strategies and you know treat them certain type of way i ain't talking about butter them up and kiss they butts mm -hmm. i ain't talking about that at all right. you're wicked you wicked call it out but there's ways you can call it out and, and there's different approaches you can come about certain type of situations now some things just you know you it's got to be hard rebuke but some other things could be feathered upon a lot and we don't do it because men do assert a lot of authority like they over abuse their authority i i get a woman that they do mm -hmm. but that still don't give you right to be wicked it don't Play your role. Come on. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. That's right. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. Mm. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. Come on, bro. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of Yah. Uh -huh. But the who, who is that? Who is that in there? Uh, come on. Verse 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image and glory of Yah. You hear that? So the man is the image and the glory of Yahweh. Come on. But the woman 
is the glory of the man. But you are my glory. You are my glory, so you need to act like that. Glory is splendor, it's delight. You're a reflection of me. But if you Dragon Ball Z every time I come home, <laughs> that's not a reflection of me, especially if I'm in subjection to my king and I'm doing everything inside of my will and my power to follow commands. That means our minds are not matching. I'm unevenly yoked at this point. I need to get, I need to move on. Huh? But then they'd be like, well, the man is just so quick to divorce. His divorce rate is high. He's been with many women. <laughs> well, hey, y'all need to get it together. But look, it ain't y'all fault. It's always the black man fault. I just need to take my time. I was just about courting. to say, you got to go through that court process, my time man. Courting. Huh? You a wicked man. You're just, you do, everything you do is wrong. No, the only wrong thing I did was sleeping with you too fast. Courting. We got to get to know these women, man. We really do. Come on. Verse 8, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Read that, read that again. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. It's self-explanatory, come on. Neither was the man created for the woman. Oh, so the man wasn't even created for the woman. And that's how y'all be acting. That's how y'all be acting. Like we owe y'all something. Huh? The man wasn't even created for the woman. You was a gift to me. So be my gift. A gift is supposed to be purposeful. It's supposed to be fulfillment. It ain't supposed to be blood sucking and soul sucking and you know. Like a gift supposed to be. When you get gifts, ain't you happy? I got a gift. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I got no a doubt. gift. But then you open the gift up and it's a cut off head inside. You got oh, a no. It's a dragon. No, it ain't supposed to be like that at all. Come on, hey, bro. But the woman for the man. Ooh. For this calls out the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Right. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Neither the woman without the man. See, I go back and forth because y'all two make a hundred. 50 plus 50 make a hundred. You know right. what I'm saying? Or 51 plus 49 makes a hundred. Let me say that. 51 plus right, 49. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Makes a hundred. But see, the thing is, if you compliment me, if you're virtuous and, and I am a, a, I'm being a righteous king, we are unstoppable. We build an empires. We compliment each other. The mm -hmm. household is on point. I'm bringing the bread in. You cooking the bread. Huh? I'm putting the children in you. You raising the children. Huh? I'm cutting the grass. You planting the flowers. Like it's a it's a team effort that makes you one. That's why it's called a union. You become what one flesh. Mm -hmm. Man, Daniel Solomon did a, a lesson on that. Become one flesh. That's the only uh, time one plus one equals one. Yeah, one plus one equals one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a card. Mm -hmm. Come on. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Most High. Mm -hmm. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman. Yeah, because check this out. The crazy thing is, okay, the woman came from the man, but after that, the man came from the woman's womb. Mm -hmm. You see how the Most High do it? He do it for ain't nobody really over nobody per se. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, the, the man don't have power over his own body, but the woman. The woman don't have power over her own body, but the man. Well, this power is the power of the word. I can't be above the word. If my wife bring me a scripture and say, look, Negro, you are off. According to the covenant we made, you off. Mm -hmm. I can't be like, woman, I rule over you. Woman, I don't have to listen to what what the most I say. There you go. No, nah, player. You in subjection at that time. Huh? So now when it says man subject yourself to your wives and woman subject yourself to your husband, mm -hmm. that's the the perspective we supposed to be looking at it is because there's one power that's over both of us. Yeah. And that's Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. That's Yahweh. You see what I'm saying? Like we've been taking these scriptures and we have been twisting them up and using them for our own advantages, and that's not right. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. That verse 12 from the top again. For as the woman is of the man. Even so is the man also by the woman. Yeah. But all things of Yah. Ooh, you hear that? God own everything. That's right. Come on. Judging yourselves. Is it comely that a woman pray 
unto Yah uncovered? No, that's wrong as hell. Come on. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? It's not talking about this, y'all. It's talking about long, straight hair down to his butt with barrettes in it, basically. Mm. He's looking like he's pertaining to a woman. Come on. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. You hear that? That's your glory. Your hair is your glory. But he took y'all glory from y'all, and that's what we're going to read next. Come on. For her hair is given her for a covering. Yeah. But if any man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, yeah. neither the churches of Yah. Come on. We done with that. Let's go to Isaiah 3. Isaiah 3, we're going to speed it up a little taste, y'all. We're going to get right to the point. Just showing what happened to the woman for her being foolish and her being boisterous and thinking she's, you know, mm -hmm. this and that and that and this. All praises, though. I think uh, the message is getting across without us sounding like we're just over here bashing because that is not what <laughs> we're here, here to do at all. No. You got a light on? You fucking like this? Yeah, yeah, it's around here. We in Isaiah 3, y'all. There you go. When the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, where you want to start? Well, that's hot right there, boy. Yeah, that's how it be. They call that fire. Right. See, look, the lake of fire ain't made for me, y'all. Right. I can't even stand no little lighter fluid on my finger. It get hot outside. I turn my AC on. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't do the lake of fire. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go 3. Let's start at 16. We get straight to it. From 1 to from one to 15 to talk about how he took away from the men, how the men fell, the council, the kings, the rulers, how they fell. And the direct effect, uh, the direct reaction from the man falling, of course, the women fall, right? So we're going to get into the women part because it's who we're talking about today. We're in the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 16. Let's get her done. Moreover, the Most High saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. Mm, you know that, the stretched forth, like how y'all do snapping your necks, wanton mm -hmm. eyes, eyelids all shadowed up, you know. Y'all now got the uh, extensions and, you know, just doing too much to yourselves, to be honest with you. You were already beautiful without all of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you think you just, you know, the hot commodity. When you're supposed to be shamefaced, you're supposed to be looking down. Ain't no man supposed to be looking at you in sexual manners because you covered up. Huh? But look, the, the woman was acting like this before. How women acting now? Women was acting like this before. Let's see what the most high did to these women. Come on. Walking and mincing as they go. Mm, mincing, switching as they go. Like just, you know. Huh? Like they ain't got no covering. See, most I said, well, I'm going to take y'all covering. Come on. And making a tinkling with their feet. Mm. Therefore, the Most High will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. You hear that? So look, y'all walking around with your ankle bracelets on. Y'all know this talking about the daughters of Zion because in the 90s, that's all y'all were. Ankle bracelets, daisy dupes, long, uh, what they used to call them, doodle braids, dookie braids. Yeah, yeah. Stretch forth necks. It was the thing to just, you know, snap your neck, batter your eyes. Says the most high gonna scab, he gonna smite you with a scab upon your head. Now look, the thing about a scab, when a scab come, a hair can't grow. So if he put scab on your hair and your hair used to grow to your butt, mm. hair is not growing anymore. We just read in 1 Corinthians 11 that your head, your hair is your glory. Right. So he's taking his glory from y'all because y'all took the glory he gave you and you absurd authority with this glory. You used it and manipulated it in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So for that, the most high is coming to strip you of that glory. Mm. Come on. And the most high will discover their secret parts. You hear that? The most high gonna discover your secret parts. You know what your secret parts is? Them secret sins that you've been hiding. The secret, them secret, the secret lust you have to, to rule over your man. That secret lust you have to be independent, to be boisterous, to be clamorous. That secret, your secret parts, all these secret intentions that you have upon you, the Most High is going to discover them. And when the Most High discovers and mocks, he shows the world. Mm. Come on. Verse 18. In that day, the Most High will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet. So look, he took away y'all ankle bracelets. You know, he took them away. Y'all feet didn't used to touch the ground. Hebrew kings used to carry y'all around. Now y'all walking. 
Come on. And their calls and their round tires like the moon. Mm, I know what that is. Yeah, they. <laughs> come it's on. Self explanatory. Yeah, come on. The chains and the bracelets mm -hmm. and the mufflers. And the mufflers. All anything that make you look like you a queen. Like you like you are a royal pearl. That you are a royal queen. You're a royal princess. He's taking it from y'all. He's taking y'all beauty. He's taking y'all glory. Because when y'all had beauty and glory, y'all use it for the wrong things. Come on. The bonnet. The who? The bonnet. Isn't that a head covering? Mm -hmm. A bonnet? So he's taking y'all covering. He already, he already scabbed y'all with a scab on y'all head and he took y'all glory. Now he's taking more glory from y'all. He's taking y'all covering. See, this is where the mental illness start to set in at. Come on. The bonnets and the ornaments of the legs. Ooh, come on. And the headbands. And the headbands. Bonnets. Now we got headbands. Notice all these head coverings are getting stripped from the woman. Come on. And the tablets. Uh -huh. And the earrings. Yes. The rings. Mm -hmm. And nose jewels. And the nose jewels. The nose jewels is what it was your marriage token. That's how it signified that you were married, that you were taken. He took that from you because he took y'all covering. He took y'all kings from y'all. Because like I said, if you read the one to twelve, all the husbands, the kings, and the councilmen and the soldiers, they had got taken from y'all. Come on. Verse twenty-two. The changeable suits of apparel, yeah. and the mantles, mm. and the wimples, yeah. and the crisping pins. Oh, there we go. Crisping pins. How y'all used to pin y'all hair up before y'all put y'all bonnets on. Mm -hmm. Anything they got to do with your glory, he is stripping from y'all. The question is, why? Why is he taking y'all glory? What is the black woman doing? What is the Israelite woman doing that he's stripping y'all from these things? Well, we just read in verse 16. Y'all took what he gave y'all, and y'all did wrong with it. The same thing that y'all doing now. Now, of sudden authority over your man, wanting to do what you want to do, not wanting to follow commandments, a steady building the house, you're being foolish and you're doing what? Tearing it down. Come on. The glasses mm. and the fine linen mm. and the hood. The who? The hood. That's another head covering. We don't read about five of them. The hoods. Come on. And the veil. That's another head covering. And the veils. He's showing you like, look, I'm taking your glory. I, and I'm taking your beauty. And I'm taking your coverings. Huh? Your men, your husband. Your, I'm taking it. Because y'all are not doing it by right. Y'all not treating it right. So if you don't treat it right, guess what? You don't need it. So don't be a fire-breathing dragon and then be hollering. Well, I need a man. I'm lonely. Hell, why you think you lonely? Come on. Verse 24. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. You hear that? Instead of you smelling like roses and, and uh, frankincense and mirth, you smelling like stink. Huh? It don't smell good down there no more. Stank. Mm. Now you got all these stuff. What they call them? Dushes and all right. kinds of things to keep keep your 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 hygiene up now. It wasn't like that at first. But y'all be misusing the glory that God give y'all. So he take it from y'all. Just like the man did too. Ezekiel 16. When we use the Lord God name in vain. And he, he dressed us for the wedding and we took all the stuff he gave us and we started worshiping Baal with it. Mm. And he came and stripped everything from us. Same thing that happened to the women then and the same thing that's going to happen to y'all now if y'all don't get off this wickedness. Come on, hey, bro. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of a well, instead of well said hair baldness. Because y'all hair used to grow down to y'all butt. It said instead of well said hair, baldness. <laughs> y'all hair don't even grow past y'all shoulders no more. Y'all done Ooh. permed it all out. Huh? It's falling out. Like it's crazy. Y'all got weave all in it. And look, I'm not talking about y'all at all. I'm just saying, look what scriptures say. And like this is coming from a, a man that loved black women, that love his black queens, that love his black, his Israelite women, that, that don't want to do nothing but see y'all progress. But like, look, it's time to stop the bull. It's time. The BS is out the door now. Time is at hand. Check your wickedness at the door. Get mm -hmm. it out. Look, quit being a, a dragon to my brothers. Right. Huh? 
And brothers, quit bringing the women down. But look, it's a two-way street. How he gonna stop trying to bring you down, but you still being a dragon? I mean, how does that work? Look, a wise woman buildeth her house, but a foolish woman tears it down with what? Her own hands. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. And instead of well-said hair, baldness. Whew. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth. Whew. And burning instead of beauty. You ain't beautiful no more. He took it. Burning now. Come on. Thy men shall fall by the sword. Ooh. And thy mighty in the war. Come on. And her gates shall lament and mourn. Because they didn't have no respect for the black man. And there's no respect for the black Israelite man now. No respect. Where, where did it go? Mm, come on. And she, being desolate, Shall sit upon the ground. See that her house gone now. She's desolate. She's right. waste now because the man left. The man is not there. The house is torn. The down. The house is torn down. She then tore down her house mm, mm. with her hand. With her own hands. Oof. Ain't that deep, Bill? Boy, stop it. That's deep. Check out. Look, let's read this verse four and one though. Chapter four, verse one. Chapter four, verse one. One of my favorite verses. And in that day. And in that day. Seven women. It says what? Seven women. Seven women. Look, heaven is like one to heaven is like one to seven virgins, huh? Oh, so we talking about the new kingdom. And it says, in that day in the new kingdom, seven women, what? Shall take hold of one man. Seven women should take hold of one man. So all you women, oh no, I'm not sharing my man. Huh? It says in the kingdom is seven women gonna take hold of one man. What is that? Oh yes, so is there a polygamy in the kingdom? Well, according to scripture, it is. Come on. Okay. Well, take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread. You hear that? We eat our own bread. You know all that broke nigga? You can't do nothing for me. Mm -hmm. And that nigga will be like, look, I cook my own food to get my own food. Right? Mm -hmm. Come on. And wear our own apparel. Right. I'll get my own apparel. Seven women are saying this to one man. Come on. Only let us be called by thy name. Look, give us your name. Let us be up under your authority. Oh, now you want to be up under my authority. Mm -hmm. Now I can rule. Now I can play my role. In that day, huh? All praises. Come on. To take away our reproach. To take away our reproach, our sins, our calamity. We don't want to be clamorous no more. We don't want to be evil. We don't want to rule no more. I'm not mad because you want to uh, uh, expand your household. Even though it is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Now now it says seven. This polygamy. This is multiple wives, y'all. And this is talking about Jerusalem glorious future. Huh? Wow. Yeah, it's deep, ain't it? Yeah. So like the very thing that they be banging for is gonna be in the kingdom. The very thing y'all go against is gonna be happening in the kingdom. Don't make no sense to me, but look, this lesson is not about polygamy. This is about <clears throat> a foolish woman and a wise woman. A wise woman that build her house and a foolish woman that tear her house down with her own hands. So we're going to stop that right there. Let's get a little bit of this 1 Corinthians 7, Hebrew. Okay. We're just going to get a little bit of that. Jump around for a little taste and going to get up out of here. You know how we do it, Elder. Yes, sir. 1 Corinthians 7. Yeah, I ain't gonna read this whole chapter though, because I got this for the next lesson we're doing so up. Okay. We're gonna start. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just need for real to get one little key verse. God is so we're gonna put it at uh we're gonna start at twelve. Seven. Matter of fact, hold on, let me see. Let's speak on my brother. Yeah, let's start at 12. We're going to read that on out. Okay. I will read the whole thing, but this is for some notes. You know what I'm saying? So. We're in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, starting at verse 12. Make sure y'all read one on out, though. It's uh, very good, and it's talking about the problems with married and unmarried couples. So, But we're going to start at verse 12, y'all. Let's get her done, Hebrew. Let me check this camera too. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse 12. But to the rest speak I, not the most high. Mm. If any brother hold had... On, hold on, hold on. He said, for the rest speak I. Notice he's going off record to say this. He said, not the most high, but I speak. 
So he's not on record. He's going off record to speak on record, per se. He said the rest speak out, not the most high. So this is coming from man, not the most high. Come on. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Mm. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Let her not leave because your belief can eventually grab their belief. Mm -hmm. Come on. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. This doesn't mean that the wife get the husband into the kingdom. It just means that this is a pathway and a path that he can walk upon if he do be interested in what she got going on. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. Come on. And the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Yes, sir. Else were your children unclean. But now are they holy. Mm -hmm. But if the unbelieving depart, <clears throat> let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. That's right. <laughs> but Yah hath called us to peace. Come on. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? You say, look, stick it out. Because you don't know if you could have saved him or not. Right? Or, hey, let him go because you didn't know if you could have saved him or not. Come on. But as Yah has distributed to every man, as the Most High has called every one, so let him walk. And so ordain I in all churches. Come on. Is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called in un uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Right. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of Yah. Mm. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Come on. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. Ooh, come on. For he that is called in the Most High, being a servant, is the most highest free man. You hear that? So you might be a servant on earth, but not free in the spirit. But you might be a servant in spirit, but be free in spirit because you were serving of the Lord and the true self set you free. Come on. Likewise, also he that is called being free is Hamashiach's servant. Exactly, because you free, but you still serving up under somebody. That's you right. always going to serve. So just like a woman, you'll be free, but you still going to be up under my subjection. This is what it is. But you're free because you're supposed to want to do this. You're supposed to want to, to cook for your man, to help him out, to be a help me, to, to, to make sure the, the nicks and crannies and the ins and outs get done. It's what you was created for. So this don't make you like, a lot of women take it like, Huh, he trying to put me under servile work. Mm. Huh, like you think you're a slave or something. You're not a slave. You're supposed to want to do for your man. You're supposed to want to see him happy. You're supposed to want his... Look, especially if you ain't got no job and he out working all day, everything supposed to be laid out when you get home. Huh? Everything supposed to be clean. Then it should be ready. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be like that. Because what's the point of him working all day and you ain't doing nothing at all? I mean, how is this benefiting him? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. Verse 23. Yet are bought, wait a minute, ye are bought with a price. Yeah. Be not ye the servants of men. Mm, see that? Don't be no servant of no man. Come on. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with Yah. Jump down to verse 28. Verse 28. No, let me verse 26. Verse 26. I suppose, therefore, that this is good for the present distress. I say that it is good for a man so to be. Come on. Art thou bound unto a wife? Uh -huh. Seek not to be loose. So if you bound onto a wife, seek not to be loose. Share us what you got. Build it up. Mm -hmm. Come on. Art thou loosed from a wife? Seek not a wife. You ain't got a wife, so don't be trying to seek to get one. We in the last days. Focus. Let's take your focus off the most high anyways. Because now you got to focus on this. You got to focus on her. So don't take it completely off the most high, but a portion is going to go to your wife. Huh? Come on. Mm. Verse 28. 
But, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. But look, if you do get a wife or wives, you ain't did no sinning. Come on. And if a virgin marry, she hath not sinned. That's right. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. You hear that said? He said it flat out. If you're going to be in a relationship, you're going to have trouble inside your relationship. It's going to be trouble when it comes to the flesh. So if you stay out of flesh and you stay in the spirit, you'll be all right. But as long as you got flesh attached to the spirit, somebody going to get flesh. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be the woman. Getting her emotions, getting her carnal thinking. Come on. But I spare you. He said, I spare you. He like, look, I feel bad for y'all. Because remember, Paul, he ain't he ain't sleep with no woman. He's like, I'm cool. <laughs> he like, look, I wish I wish he was though as I. Right. Because remember, he ain't touch a woman. Remember, it start off. Let me just read verse one for y'all. Now concerning the things whereof he wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Mm. It says, nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But look, and a lot of a lot of women now, these new age women coming up with this new doctrine saying that that means that a man ain't supposed to have multiple wives. Now, nah, read that for the proper context of what the whole Corinthians was about. It was about wife swapping. Huh? Many of them had multiple wives. Come on. Verse 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. Oh, you heard that? The time is short. That's why he said all the things. The time too short for you to be bickering in the flesh back and forth, especially against an unruly woman. Christ can crack these guys at any minute. Prophecy is popping like popcorn. Hmm. And you going back and forth with a dragon every day? Right. Nah, player. Come on. It remaineth. That both they that have wives be as though they had none. You that for those that have wives be as though they had none. We doing the work. I get when you when I can get to you. I ain't look. It's still do benevolence. I ain't. It, but look, I'm focused on the Most High, and you're supposed to be focusing on me, which is being focused on the Most High, because mm -hmm. you're playing your role. We can stop there right there. Let's get some of this to Rock 26. You back in the pocket for y'all. So Rock 26. So rock 26. Okay, that's where that came into play. Alright. Get some of this to rock 26 on. Okay, where you want to start at? Let's start at one, my brother. And that's the beginning. We're in the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 1. Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife. Ooh, you hear that? Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife. Mm. Did you want to expound it? Oh, no, brother, go. I thought, I'm like, okay. No, don't self explain it to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Blessed is the man that hath <laughs> a like, virtuous wife. I'm like, all right, come on, brother. This verse ain't done yet. I know. <laughs> For the number of his days shall be double. You hear that? So a good woman, a virtuous woman, a virtuous wife, a wife that's striving to be a daughter of Zion, a wife that's keeping the commandments or trying to keep all the commandments yes. and, and seeking Yah first, which is, means putting you before everything. It says, she makes what? The number of his days shall be double. Right. Meaning he live long because of his woman. So yeah. look, let's think about the opposite side, the contrary side. If he have a dragon, he don't live long at all. His days are what? Lesson. Right. Mm, that's deep. Come on. Verse 2. A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband, mm. and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. You hear that? A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband. She encouraged him on. Right. You know, she, she she's not hating towards him. She's not... Well, nigga, that ain't gonna work anyway. Mm -hmm. When you ain't never been good, you ain't never been shit. Mm -hmm. You know how y'all talk when y'all getting y'all dragon mode. But look, she rejoices like, "Hey, King, that's great, great. I like the way you. You know what I'm saying? You moving in with, moving forward with the Most High. With you wipe this, with the, look, I support. How can I help? It's rejoicing. She's glad she got a king. Come on, a good wife is a good portion. Ooh, a good wife is what? A good portion. Yeah. Which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Most High. So, man, you got a dragon. You need to be checking your status with the Most High Yah. You got a dragon. 
Because it says the good portion of wife is given to a good man. She mm -hmm. ain't a good wife. It's time to start checking your reflection in the mirror. Come on. Verse 4. Whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward the Most High, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. Ooh, you hear that, brother? He's rich or poor. If his heart good, then he all good. Come on. There be three things that mine heart feareth, and for the fourth I was sore afraid. Right. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an ungodly multitude, and a false accusation. Mm. All these are worse than death. Come on. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another you woman. That? But a grief of heart and sorrow. Out of all these things, he hated. One, he even hated worse on the death. But he said, look, what's even worse than that is a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that's jealous of another woman. Mm. Huh? Why is you jealous of another? If you're supposed to be doing your job, you virtuous, striving to be a virtuous queen, and you handling your business, why does she even matter anyways? Time to check yourself. Self-evaluation obviously is something that you're not doing, so you're feeling vulnerable in certain areas, and you think that she can pick up where you're lacking it. But if there was no where you was lacking it, then everything would be all good. Like, start thinking about stuff like that. Come on. And the scourge of the tongue which communicated with all. Yeah. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. Ooh. He that hath hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. Think about a yoke shaking to a fro. Think about you have a yoke of iron around your neck and they just shaking it hard. Neck just violently. Mm. And it says it's like holding on a scorpion. And every time you hold the scorpion, it just sting the hell out of you. Poison venom will get up in you, but you can't let it go. You just don't want to let this wicked woman go. Why? Because the vagina good? Mm. <laughs> it's worth that? Hmm? What you afraid of being lonely? Right. Paul just said, hey, I wish you was like me. Don't even have a woman. Don't even touch a woman. Like, what is it? You that weak that you would stay with a wicked woman? Mm. Holding that scorpion. You're steady. Kill you're killing yourself. Mm -hmm. You might want to grab a pistol, get it in there, blow your brains out. Because, look, a foolish woman brings you to a deep ditch. Says she's a graveyard waiting for people to put her in, to put in her. She's a graveyard. She sit at the front of her house and she distract man on the way of their path. Huh? She tell you stolen water is sweet. Who want a woman like that? Oh, a wicked man. Come on. Verse 8. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger. Ooh. And she will not cover her own shame. Come on. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Straight up. We just talking about the haughty looks, right? Yes, sir. And, and Isaiah 3. Yeah. And how they bat their eyes. Yeah. Look, the, the scripture be lining up. Now, what did he do for a woman like that? He took all their glory from them, didn't mm -hmm. he? All right. Come on. If thy daughter be shameless. Keep her in straightly, mm -hmm. lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Yeah. Watch over an impudent eye, Whew. and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Turn it up. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain, mm. and drink of every water near her. Will he? Will, will she sit down mm. and open her quiver against every arrow? Ooh. Oh my goodness! Yeah, she's she, nasty. She's a she's a whore. Yes, she's nasty. Yeah, come on. Verse thirteen: The grace of a wife delighteth her husband. Ooh, that sounds beautiful. And her discretion will fatten his bone. Her, her discretion. She's not all in everybody's face. She ducked off. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how your woman supposed to be. Your woman ain't supposed to be. You know she. Uh, Shalom, brothers. Yeah. Get your ass back in the house. <laughs> All I heard my brothers for. <laughs> trying to be seen of men. For what? Yeah. You ain't supposed to be trying to be seen of me. <laughs> Come <Yeah>. on. <laughs> Verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Most oh, High. Praise it. Hallelujah. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well, well instructed. instructed. You hear that? Mind well instructed. She established in the commandments. She know what she doing. She know where she going. She know what she need to build her house. She like on every level. She just like 
Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. getting excited thinking That's about right. it. At every level, she just on her stuff. Like, everything is right. Everything tight. And, and, and when the opposition come or when Satan do come and try to sniff her butt, she like, look, man, I know what you want. You trying to get me to tear down my house, but I ain't about that. That's right. Mm, that's beautiful. Come on. Verse 15. A shame-faced and faithful woman is a double grace. Oh, you hear that? A shame-faced and faith, a respectful woman and a faithful woman. Mm -hmm. It says it's a double grace. You know why I said double grace? Because it says blessed is the man with a virtuous wife in verse 1. He's saying double blessed is the man if she's shame-faced and faithful. Mm, come on. And her continent mind cannot be valued. Look, meaning can't nothing top that. Nothing top that. And if we got enough time to make it to this uh to this Proverbs 31, let's talk about it. It says diamond and uh, rubies. Mm -hmm. Rubies and gold, silver. Ain't nothing worth her mind. She is the she's not I can't even say she's the ish. Cause it's not the ish is not valuable. It's, it's mm -hmm. dumb. Right. She is everything but Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? And, and Yahweh. She's right up under those. She's everything to get you to where you need to go. She's like the gas to your engine. She's like the oil to your motor. She keeps yes, your sir. pistons going and moving. You know what I'm saying? That everywhere you, like anything you lack in, she excel in. That's the type of relationships we supposed to be in. You know what I'm saying? We complement each other. It ain't just I do and do for myself. No, I do for you. You do for me. We do for each other. We do for ourselves because we are one flesh. That's what we looking for. We looking to build empires. We looking to build kingdoms. Mm -hmm. We ain't. What are we doing playing house? And why the hell is you playing house with a wicked woman at that? Yeah. Not only you playing house, you playing house with a wicked woman. <laughs> All right. Verse 16. As the sun, when it ariseth in the high heaven, mm -hmm. so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. You hear that? When the sun rises in the high heaven, that's just she's like, oh, glorious, yeah. glorious day. Mm -hmm. It says, this is the same as the woman. When you're going to, we just be ready to praise her. Woman, I've been at work all day. I missed you. Huh? I missed you. You so good to me, girl. I, I couldn't <laughs> wait to get off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, all praises. Come on, Hebrew. As the clear light is upon the holy candlestick, so is the beauty of the face in ripe age. Yeah. As the golden pillars are upon the sockets of silver, so are the fair feet with a constant heart. Yeah. My son, keep the flower of thine age sound mm. and give not thy strength to strangers. Hear that? Don't be having babies with these other nations. It's what it's talking about. Flowers, some of the womb, giving birth and putting seeds in something. It says, look, don't be giving your strength to these strangers. Sleep within your tribe. Sleep within in your nationhood. Come on. Verse 20. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession through all the field, sow it with thine own seed. Yeah, sow it with your own seed. Come on. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock. Trusting in the goodness of your stock that come from your scroll and that come from your strength. Come on. So thy race which thou leavest shall be magnified. See, that's how you know it's talking about the ethnicity. Because it says, for thy race which thou leavest. When you die, your race, your people, your bloodline will be magnified. Come on. Having the confidence of their good descent. Of their what? Of their good descent. Ain't that something about that? Yes, sir. Yeah, come on. So we, look, we ain't supposed to be mingling tribes, mingling bloodline. You sleeping with heathens and, you know, all of this and all of that. Ain't what we supposed to be doing. Now, am I saying it's a sin? Technically, I can't find that throughout the scripture. And if you get to some scripture that speak on stuff like that, but throughout these, throughout this solid 66, no, I can't find it. But, like, is it frowned upon by the most high? Of course it is. Come on. And harlot. Shall be accounted as spittle. Who? But a what this <laughs> a harlot should be accounted as spittle. Yeah. You, now that's you're literally not ish at that point. You're a harlot. Right. Huh? You're a harlot. Come on. But a married woman is a tower against death Ooh. to her husband. A married woman, a woman is a tower against death to her husband. Means death all the way down there. He up there. He like y'all can't get me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He is a tower against death. A married woman. Meaning it's good for a man to have what? A woman. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's not, it's not good for a man to be alone. And then what do he do? He put Adam to sleep 
and he opened up his ribs and he took one of his ribs and he created him a woman. So we are made to be with a woman. We ain't nobody made to be alone. Right. But hey, I'd rather be alone than be with a wicked she bro. That's right. A wicked woman, period. Hey, I'd be by myself. I don't look, I don't mind. Hmm. If that was the case. Come on. Verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. You hear that? Uh, she match your fly, huh? I need I need a woman mine to 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 uh match mine. And she wicked as all hell. All player, maybe it's some wicked things going on in the consciousness of yours, huh? Come hmm. on. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the most high. All praise. A dishonest woman con contemneth shame. But an honest woman will never will reverence her husband. Yeah. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Ooh, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Mm. What is a female dog? Yeah, we know that one. We know exactly what that is. All right, let's, let's, let's move on. Let's move but forward. she that is shame faced uh -huh. will fear the most high. You know, but she that is shame faced fear the most high. Come on. A woman that honoreth her husband Ooh. shall be judged wise of all. Right a woman that honoreth her husband, give him reverence, respect him. She is counted wise of all. That's mm -hmm. the one where the other man be like, man, hey, man, you, 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 you built her a well, man. Like, hey, all praises, man. You got a good wife, man. That's, you know, it makes, a, it make, it make him raise his standard for his, his list. He yes, be like, sir. man, look, I can't. My sister over there treat my brother good. I can't even accept nobody else less than her. Cause who she, like who my rib gonna even hang with when it's time for you know what I'm saying? Right. Say we all get together and she all wicked as out hell, but you got all it's all virtuous <laughs> women. You ain't never invite her nowhere. Nah. <laughs> Keep your ass in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even come out. You an embarrassment. Right. <laughs> and you wonder why you don't go nowhere. You an embarrassment. Mm hmm. Let's keep, hey, look, this is one of them real sessions. Let's keep it a hundred. No know? doubt, for real. <laughs> I mean, some, some, I, I understand why some bros come solo dolo because yes. their women ain't right, they, you know? They ain't right they out of order. It, it, don't, it don't be matching. They be right. like, hold on, how did these two, <laughs> you get that? Yeah. How did y'all even get together? Like, y'all minds don't match at all. <laughs> at all. Yeah. So, you know, it must be loin warfare. That's all that's going on. Because if that's all you got, I mean, that, that, Runs out, and then you don't have anything to talk about. Yeah. So your relationship because vagi vagina anything. and penis get old. What, yeah, what, man, <laughs> come on, man. What, what, what's going to happen after that? You can't pay no bills with that, bro. Hey, uh -uh. Verse twenty six: A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all. Yeah. But she that dishonoreth him in her pride Ooh. shall be counted ungodly she, of all. Hold on, let's peep the key word: dishonor him in what? In her, her pride. pride. That is the main problem that's going on with these women. Yeah. Prideful women. Foolish, prideful women. Mm -hmm. And don't have the wisdom to build the house through their pride and their foolishness. They do what? They tear it down with their own hands. Mm -hmm. Come on. A loud crying woman and a scold shall be sought out to drive away the enemy. Ooh. Come on. There be two things that grieve my heart. Mm -hmm. And the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty, and men of understanding that are not set by, mm. and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. Ooh, it's like a dog returning to his vomit. Come on. The Most High prepareth such and one for the sword. Oh, don't get prepared for the sword. Yes, sir. Death. Come on. A merchant shall hardly keep himself from doing wrong. Yep. <laughs> and an huckster shall not be freed from sin. Mm. Come on, let's get it. Let's get back in these Proverbs. Proverbs 12. Proverbs 12 and 4. Mm -hmm. Let's run through this stuff real quick. We finna get up out of here, y'all. I know we done held y'all up for a little while, but hey, hopefully the, the most high move through these men that's hidden before y'all today for y'all to get this message. You know what I'm saying? This is not none of our works at all. This is all to Yahweh by Hashem and Mashiach Yahweh 12 and 4. Yeah, 12 and 4. Let's hit them with a couple one hitters. So we We're in the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 4. A virtuous woman Ooh, is... Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. What the, let me look that up. Hold on, Elder, let me... Yeah, look it up. Proverbs 12, verse 4. 
<clears throat> a virtuous woman. Check this out. Let's look at the word virtuous. Strong's age 2428. Chayil. 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 Virtuous. It says strength, might, wealth, army. Mm. It says army, wealth, virtue, strength, able, activity, army, band, soldiers, riches, strength, strong, substance, trained, mm. virtuous, worthy, or worthily. Meaning she's a worthy woman. That is dope. She's wealth. She's rich in excellence. She's rich in the spirit. Mm. Oh, praise us. Come on, Abram. And verse 4 again of Proverbs 12. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. Yeah, a crown. You his crown. Huh? He rock you nicely. He rock you. Look, just like a Negro with a nice chain. They gonna be trying to show everybody. They gonna keep it shined up. You know what I'm saying? That's how you is to him. Because remember, you worth more than diamonds and rubies. You was crown. You his keter. You was keter. You always on his head. He gonna wear you proudly. If you're virtuous. Mm -hmm. But if you not, you a, a, a fire-breathing dragon, you wonder why you never leave the house. Mm -hmm. Start like checking yourself and spirit like, dang, why I never leave the house? Uh, maybe you're embarrassed me. And if you were embarrassment, shame on you, man, because you need to be checking that or getting rid of her mm -hmm. and moving on because you ain't supposed to keep nobody on dun dungeon status. <laughs> <laughs> she just shelfing her. We just uh, shelfing women out. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. But she that maketh ashamed is as as rottenness in in his bone. Ooh, that's like bone marrow cancer. Wow, and stinking. Yeah, it's stinking. You see that? Uh, a foolish woman is like bone marrow cancer that's stinking to his bone. You're killing him from the inside out. Yeah. Who want to be with a woman like that? You're a deaf. I don't want to be around deaf. Huh? I'm trying to live as long as I can. I, ho I hope I'm trying to make it to when the, the uh, sky's cracked. <laughs> Hey, you know what I'm saying? If I can, hey. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be killed by no woman. Or by a bitter, prideful, foolish woman that tears down our house with our own hands. I'm cool on that. That's a cool little one hit up. Let's get to this uh first Peter 3, 1 through 4. Then uh we're gonna read Ephesians 5 and then we'll leave out. And uh I pro I don't know, I might go over some of that Proverbs 31, but I know they know that scripture, so. Mm-hmm. I'm just y'all just read Proverbs 31 on your own time. We just gonna do this first Peter's 3, 1 through 4, and uh Ephesians 5, 20 and to 33. And then what y'all can do is meditate on that Proverbs 31. After y'all get done reading this lesson, make sure y'all go through and really get into the details of that. Because uh, it's pretty good. And yeah. every woman supposed to be striving to be that. Yeah, that's right. Every woman. Alright, we're gonna be reading from the book of First Peter. Chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, mm -hmm. that if any obey not the word, they also... Wait a minute. Yeah, hey, go and redo that. You know it's getting late. Mm -hmm. uh, the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word. Obey not what? The word. So look, this is how you be in subjection. Just go by the guidelines. Go by the word. Mm -hmm. That's it. That'll keep you cool and keep you clear. Go by what thus says the Lord. Okay, the Lord said I have to do this. The Lord says I have to give you due benevolence. The Lord says I can't upset authority over you. The Lord says this. Okay, the Lord says that I'm not supposed to be beating you to a pope. Like Adam said, why would I raise my hand against my own flesh? The Lord said I ain't supposed to be doing this to you. The Lord said I ain't supposed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, as long as we keep the word as our foundation, like we spoke about in the beginning of the video, we wouldn't even be having this video. Hmm. Come on. If any obey not the word... They also may, without the word, be won by the conversation of the wise. Ooh, come on. While they behold your, cha your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Come on. Whose adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of plating, of plating the hair. 
So that would be like platinum. Yeah, great platinum, braid. Yep. And of wearing of gold. Because remember, he took that from y'all in Isaiah 3. He said, don't go back to that because that gets y'all off. Look, and what he's talking about is actually, like if you get in the spiritual sense of this, he's talking about just adorning yourselves to be something you're not, pretending to be on this high horse like you just on God status when inside you a wicked, demonic spirit. Mm -hmm. Let's think about it spiritually here. Come on. And of wearing of gold mm -hmm. or of putting on of apparel. Remember, he took that gold, he took that pearl, he took that hair, right? And he took, look, this is Isaiah 3 all over again. Come on. But let it be the hidden man of the heart Woo. in that which is not corruptible, mm. even the ornament of a meek Woo. and quiet spirit. Ain't this what we searching for? Meekness and quietness. The beauty of a woman is in her silence, not in her violence. Mm -hmm. I like how that yeah, I heard that, yeah, boy. I heard that. Right. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> which is in the sight of Yah uh -huh. of great price. All praise. Come on, bro. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also, mm -hmm. who trusted in Yah, yeah. adorned themselves, mm -hmm. being in subjection hey. unto their own husbands. You see what he called a woman that's in subjection to their own husband? Holy women of old times. He's talking about Sarah. He's talking about Rebecca. He's going through these old women that set the bar. Y'all not even coming close to this bar, but y'all calling yourselves virtuous women. Mm -hmm. If you don't get on with that. Come on. Verse 6. Even as Sarah Look, obeyed Abraham. Even went as far as to name him one of these ancient holy women. Sarah. Quit saying you virtuous if you ain't even striving to be like her. Mm -hmm. Come on. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Calling him what? Lord. Master. Because that's what he was. He ruled the household. Come on. Whose daughters ye are, mm -hmm. as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. With any amazement. I'm mm. afraid. Let's hit this last scripture, uh, Ephesians 5, 20 to, 3, 20 to 33, and we uh, leave it out from there. The book of Ephesians. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. It's going down in the scripture. Be going down. It's never a dull oh, moment. Never. <laughs> you gotta love it, baby. Yeah, all praise. Verse Let's 20. Let's see. You say Ephesians 5 and 20. Yep, we're going to read that on out, and that'll be it for the night, my elder. We're in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Giving thanks always for all things unto Yah and the Father in the name of our Elohim, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, mm -hmm. submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yah. Now, didn't we just talk about that? Yeah. So now that's how you submit yourselves. Everybody, well, you in subjection to me too. No woman, I'm not. I'm subjection to God, meaning that if you're moving God-like, that yes, and I, I'm in a uh, some type of subjection because you can't be off now. You're you're moving by the scriptures. So, of course, if you offer me an opinion or something, I'm going to have to abide by it because it's coming from what? The book. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't be down my throat because I want to expand my household, though. That's not a sin according <laughs> to scripture. And the reason why I'm banging on that because that's been one of the most things going on here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I'm talking about that a lot. Again, this is not a polygamy... Uh, uh, a polygamy lesson or nothing like that, but these are one of the main reasons why it's uproar inside the households. And again, this is a God-given right for men, whether you for it or not. Again, my elder, he he cool. Yeah, I'm no, good. many brothers is cool on. Yeah, him. you know what I'm saying. And I can actually see why. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, Verse twenty-one. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yah. Yeah. Wives. Submit yourselves unto your own husbands mm. as unto the most high. Hear that? Unto your own husband as is to the most high. Come on. For the husband is the head of the wife. Didn't we just read that in 1 Corinthians 11 that the husband is the head of the wife. He rules the household. So you build the house, but he rules it. It's a difference. Come on. Even as a Mashiach is the head of the church. Christ is the head of the church. Christ is the head of me. If Christ tell me, hey, you can go get that done, guess what I'm doing? I'm going to get it done. Right. Christ say jump, I'm going to be like, how high, Lord? So why when I give instructions or if I give out something, it's, huh, why? I don't feel like it. I've been tired. I ain't asked all that. So the woman would be like, well, he's, he's abusing his authority. How? 
You are help me. Help me out. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. The same way we supposed to be there for Christ. Look, I, you're not the only one that's getting ruled or, or being put in subjection. We mm -hmm. are in subjection to Christ. Exactly. And Christ is in subjection to who? His Father. Mm-hmm. Come on. And he is the Savior of our body. Yeah. Or of the body. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. In what? In everything. Now in some things. In everything. Ugh, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. No, this says in everything. Mm -hmm. That's a key point. And look these words up. In everything. That means every way. As long as he ain't telling you to break no commandment of God and go against the foundation that we were speaking about in the beginning, you should be getting to it with no back talk and all this foolishness because it's not going to do nothing but tear your house down. And then you're going to complain and be bitter about it once the house get tore down. It makes no sense. It's like y'all y'all getting the guns, blowing your brains out, and then asking, why, Lord? Uh, you just killed yourself. Hmm. What you mean, why? It makes no sense. Come on. Verse 25. Husbands, love your wives. Look, I'm, I'm commanded to love you if you're doing these things that it just talked about. Notice it gave your role and position first, and then it said, look, husband, love your wives. She's in subjection. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. The, she treats you the way you treat your Christ. Hey, look, love her. Give her due benevolence. Make sure she's good. You know what I'm saying? Be there for her. Tighten up a little taste. Come on. Husbands, love your wives. Even as Hamashiach also loved the church. And, and did what? And gave himself for it. And gave himself for it. Love is sacrifice. Yes. Love is sacrifice. For God so loved the world, he did what? He gave his only begotten son. Right. For you so loved your wife, you gave away your, your, your impurifications. You gave away your uncleanness. You gave away the lust of your mind. Huh? You gave yourself to her. And you would give your life for her and your children. Or for your future seeds. So like love is sacrifice and obedience. You listen and then you sacrifice. Same thing Christ did. He listened to his father. Then he put his life down for his family. Mm -hmm. Same thing you're supposed to do for your wife if you love her. But you can only be in love with her if she's in subjection to you. It's rules to this. Yeah. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it mm. with the washing of water by the word. By the who? By the And the reason why is because he y'all are one flesh. Right. Huh? Like like Adam said again. He said, Adam, Adam asked his wife, I mean, uh Ad Kawhi asked Adam to, to kill her because the sins and they got put out the garden. He straight told her to be quiet. He like, be quiet before you cause more condemnation on both of us. Why would I raise my hand against my own flesh? Right. You can't say that to no dragon. You be like, do what? Take you out. Uh, let's go to bed. Let's go out, let's go out back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play with y'all. <laughs> but y'all know what I mean, though. Come on, Hebrew. Verse 29. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it. Yeah. Even as the most high. The church. Mm, come on. I see. I'm, look, I'm, I'm cool being a wife of Christ. I'm, I, I love it. I be the bride, he's the bride. I'm cool with that. I play my position well. I'm trying, look, I'm trying to outdo everybody within my own self. I'm trying to outdo my own self. You know what I mean? I'm in competition with me. I wake up every day trying to whoop sin. Look, I'm putting a whooping on sin. Mm -hmm. I want to show my husband, like, look, I'm, I'm here to serve you and nobody else but you. Huh? And I'm encouraging everybody else to do it too. Just mm -hmm. like multiple wives. Sister, look, encourage, I'm encouraging my brother. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of that sin. Whatever you're going through. Look, let's pray. Let's do this. I see you at shit bop clad. Same way that other women are supposed to be towards other women. Well, brothers do that amongst each other all the time. We making sure we straight for our, our brides groom. Mm-hmm. So you see the type of psychological mindset that you're supposed to be in? Come on. Verse 30, for we are members of his body, mm -hmm. of his flesh, yeah. and of his bones. Yep. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife. You hear that? You're supposed to cleave unto her. Come on. And they too 
shall be one flesh. Mm -hmm. This is a great mystery. You hear that? This is a great mystery. Why is this a great mystery? Because he's comparing husband and wife to the church in Christ. It's supposed to be the same way, same blueprint. So if you want to see how the husband is supposed to treat the woman, how the woman is supposed to treat the, the husband, look at Christ and the church. And if anything is in opposition to that, then this ain't what that is. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence that she what? That she reverence that she, what? That she reverence uh -huh. Her husband. And reverence means respect. You yes, can't sir. respect your husband calling him a bitch ass nigga. Right. Telling him he's not ish and all no, of that. No. It's not respect. And if he's all that anyway, what do you want with him? What are you doing with him? Right. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I, I feel you. So look, with that being said, women, a wise woman buildeth her house. That's right. A foolish woman tear it down with her own hands. With her so own look, hands. this these scriptures and this study was for for encouragement. It was not to tear it down or none of that. These nah. are for encouragement. Again, I can give a hell what you think about your key. Yeah. I'm here just to give out this truth and this word and you know the, the chips fall where they fall at. The dice roll how they roll. The cards land how they land. Yeah, this well, is what it is. Don't be mad at me. I didn't write this. If yeah. you don't get mad, be mad at the most high. And that's what it is anyway. You know. So look, make sure y'all get a subjection. Work on that. If this apply to you, seek inside your own soul and your own self to get your spirit together. With that being said, love y'all family. All praises to y'all by Shema Mashiach. Y'all with Shabba Brakatha. Hallelujah. Yah Olam Kaya Hamalak. Long live the King. Shalom. Shalom, family. All praises to the Most High. Twelve tribes worldwide. Yahoo. Yahoo.